Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, part 8, I'm pretty sure right now, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's part 8, right? Or the, uh, what is it, The Witcher 3 part 60? God, 60. That's, uh, that's a lot of parts. Right, but we are here, guys. We are back. It is incredible. We're in Tussar. It's amazing. It's all looking nice. And, uh, yeah, I got, a f I got a few things I want to do today. You know, I got a few things I want to do. Um, I'd like to get this quest done. I only got four more, so that's not too hard. I'd like to get this quest. Not, I don't know if I want to... I want to get the Gwent thing, for sure. I want to get that done. Um, treasure, I'd like to get that finished. And then, I guess, main quest at some point. Although, I'm, I feel like I will fit in a main quest today. We'll see how quickly I can get through things. Um, but the first thing I want to do is talk to my, my major Domo, because I think I get a bit of dialogue with him. Um, at least I'm, I think. Let's just see. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Cool. I imagine we'll just be getting more and more as we go, right? Um, you know Thanks. what? Gotta get back to my business. Yeah, yeah, cool. Right, you know what? I'm not gonna... I was just gonna say then, maybe I'll Gwent him, but I'll actually leave it until, um... Until I get all the Skelligan cards, then we can just use that against him. Because <laughs> I said I was gonna try and beat every one of his decks on hard, and then that would be enough, pretty much. Um... Wow, I can pick up... I, I wonder, is there another figure I can put there that I, I can't seem to remember at the moment? <laughs> I think... Maybe? I'm not sure. Right. He said it was just to the right, right? Ah, there we go! So we got our white wolf wine. That's nice. I like it. Okay. Well, we, we did that now. That's cool. Um, I want to get going with this knight's thing straight away, or this, this ducal thing, but I want to clear up a couple little markers that have just been sort of bothering me. You know, like that one and that one. They're just kind of in the way. Then we'll go up there, clear up those three. Then that'll be pretty much all those northern ones done. Then we got those down here, which, um, you know, we'll get it done. It'll be good. It'll all be good. We'll try and get some markers done today. Not all of them, you know. Um, we're getting pretty close to finishing all of them, to be honest, but I don't just want to do uh, loads of them. But, you know, I, I feel like this is a this is a good thing we got going right now. We're doing well. It's going to be bittersweet, guys. I'm realizing that we're getting pretty much... We're, we're getting through all the secondary quests. Um, not sure how many parts are left, but, you know, I um, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we got main quests. Luckily, I've been saving all the main stuff because I, I want to... You know, we've done a couple of main quests here and there, but I've been trying to get done all the uh, the, the sort of stuff you just got to get done. You know what? Where's where's that potion? I just want to make this a bit more convenient. Um, yes. Oh, I had that at literally the... Maybe? I don't know. I thought I had that at the last second. Then. Okay, this is annoying. Hang on. Okay, Spit on me. That sounds weird, but do it. Thank you. Right, we got him. We got him. We got him. They're, they're dealt with, okay? There was a few issues there, I will admit. Although I think my sword is already fully upgraded, right? Yeah. At least from the level I am right now. Oh yeah, when we get to the next level, I can get my, um, my final steel sword. Although I don't have any rune stones left. That could be an issue. We will see if this Marcus persists. Boy will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Well, we'll see how much money we get from the Ducal uh, Camelango thing, because we we have got nearly all of these, and we can go and get all our pay at once. So we can use maybe use that for our rune stones. And we just got a new rune stone, although it was farmer. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just head straight to the next little marker. I didn't necessarily plan to start with markers, but there was two here that were kind of annoying. Um, and I thought, you know what? Let's just get those out of the way. They're, they're kind of in the middle of a, of a completed section, I find. So, oh, hang on, there's a guy here. I almost completely forgot there was, like, people around here. Wait there, I better read this thing before we go to the next one. Letters to Father and some blue dye. Dearest Father, it's done. I've been knighted. Your efforts have not gone in vain. I fulfilled our shared dream. Can you believe it? Your only son, a knight. Thank you for all those years of hard work and sacrifice. I know you refused yourself much... Uh, what? 
to be able to afford to buy me a horse and armor. I know you worked very hard to allow me to live in Beauclair. That is why I dedicate my first quest to you, father. I shall exterminate some parasites prowling our main roads. Slaying a dragon, it is not, but I'm excited all the same. Your loving son, Michael, Michael? Is it Michael? I, I, I assume it was Michael, but it's like an E, so Michael Subercasox. 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 What? Subercasox. Subercasox. I don't know. That sounds good enough to me. Right. Um, that's a sad one, though. That is actually a very sad one, because this was his first thing and he died. Although they were quite difficult, you know. Honestly, like, Let's it's not go. that I'm not showing emotion to it. It's it's just that I found so many of those now that it, it's sort of it's sad, but you know I've I've found so many I found like arguably worse ones. Uh, there's a guy over there by the way. You guys might want to you know deal with that. I'm about 90 meters away, getting closer as I speak. We're about to hit this other little marker. Let's see what it has in store for us. It is a vineyard infestation. I'm dealing with this well by the way. <laughs> I, th I think it's because my soul does so much damage. Should destroy it. Yeah, probably. This is very close to my vineyard. Not sure if it's within my vineyard sort of area, but it it's close. So yeah, good idea. Right, let's destroy this. Okay, and now is there a note or anything? Normally there is some sort of note. I imagine not every time. And this is like a different type of marker, so maybe not. Oh, it's just people coming in, like, being very happy that I did it. They're immediately back to work. Okay, that's a cool one. Oh, I went to talk to this innkeeper because I was wondering about Gwent, but I found some notes and apparently I can talk to this person about it. This is in Fox Hollow, by the way. Know much of the local history? Found a few elven scrolls while wandering around in the area. These notes, they describe what happened to the elves who used to live here in Fox Hollow. I know nothing. Now, would you like or to eat or to drink? Ha ha. Take care now. You are sorely missed already. There you go, guys. There's a there's another little secret about Toussaint. Remember the L, the the notes? It was at the ruin. They said they built this village near it. Um. Oh you know, yeah, there's that guy for some reason. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, um, yeah, this is something I've, I've talked about before. I mean, I guess I can say it's, it's, that basically there was, there's been a lot of pogroms and sort of elven racism in Tucson, as there isn't a lot of areas in the, the, uh, world. Um, and th that's why you basically find no elves or dwarves in Tucson, part of the Gwent tournament for the dwarves and the bank. But then elves, I'm pretty sure you find basically none. I think literally none, actually. I don't think it's even, ba I think literally you find none. What is this music? Okay, well I see people, so I'm going to assume Ard is the way. Got a 48. Don't worry. I just killed two of them immediately. Oh, it's so powerful. Oh, I, I did not mean to do that. I thought I had a... I don't know why. I assume I had the crossbow equipped. That was so dumb. I don't know why I did that. You know what? Apparently, so if I cast, say, Igni, this sword would actually get empowered, right? So then I, I may as well just do it for fun. Yeah, there you go. And I can do it again. You know what, let's try another sign. I don't think I've ever tried here, didn't Oh wow, it just like hits him with an Eardin. It's kinda cool. Just interested in trying it out. Okay. Alright, well, we dealt with all these guys. That was good. Good little marker and arachnomorph. Whoa. Okay, that was that I did, I did terribly then, but you know, considering we had to adjust quickly. Okay, we got everything? We s uh, wet sorry we I was thought it was <laughs> we smelt something I thought right wet letter smelling of soap. Um, ballast bastro, you and your rat diddled helpers deserve a hundred hard flogs to your bare bums. 
for what you got up to last night. I ordered you to prepare edible fare for our band. What? After eating that stew you made, even Am- Am- uh, Amor- Amora, I don't know, who drinks pickled juice by the quart and washes it down with rancid goat milk, was spurting out both ends. What did you put in there? Dog diarrhea? If any of you- What? If any of you steps anywhere near the pots again, I'll chop your heads off myself. Tomorrow I want to see your whole sodding kitchen crew by the river. You're going to wash our hands as dung-stained knickers till your knuckles bleed. Loth. Hmm. Loth, huh? There's a cave here. Just make a, make a, make a quick save because of the cave, you know. Um. Oh, look at his eyes. They, like, kind of weirdly glow. Where's my torch? Oh, hang on. There we go. I have no idea why I had the bomb equipped. I, I don't really... I have used bombs, as we, we have determined. But I don't use them much. This is another marker, no? Oh, this is like the proper one. I'll come here... I'll come here last. I said I want to try and do all the other... I mean, I could just do it, to be honest. Doesn't it just clear all the other areas? Or, like, make it that they become hidden treasures or something. How, however, they can be called for reinforcements, right? I may as well just do it, honestly. It doesn't matter what order you do them, you know? Realistically, Geralt's not going to be like, Oh, I have to go to every bandit camp before I get the big one. It's like, yeah, he just turns up and he's like, Ah, cool. Right, let's go. Hello. I have come. I'm just hoping that it just kills people every so often. That's like the plan with art. It's so powerful. I love it, though. What I, what I might do, actually, guys, this is a good um, thing. If I try and finish all the markers, and then I can change off Freeze Art, because it won't be as useful, because I won't really be fighting people. Uh, I mean, I will, but, um, you know, and then I can try out some new tactics, maybe, before, you know. As, as fun as this is, this has been so fun, though. I'll consider it. Well, well, that will be something that I'll have to think about. Because art is just, it's actually just fun to use as well. That's like the other benefit. Right, and we remember the tactics. Oh, whoops. We pick up all the swords. Such a strange phrase. Okay. That's all them dealt with. Oh no, there's one more. Okay. There is another red thing, but it might be above me. At least that's what I'm going to assume. I'm just going to light up some of these torches a bit. Okay. This is good. I'm going to I'm going to have a bit of money after this, I think, which should be nice. Ah, okay. We shan't go as easily as four fingers hands. Faster! Faster. Oh yeah, because I got four fingers hands. Got him. Okay. Well, we're dealing with this hands pretty easily. There's like a guy down here. I don't know why, but there's a guy here and he's apparently alive. Okay, we got him. We got him. He was just weirdly there. Right. Let's finish off this little hands base then. We have killed everybody. Everything has been dealt with. And we have the final guy who will be, you know, he will fall under the power of art. That is the plan. The bomb sweat did you come here? Hello. Oh, eh? face. You stand no chance against us. You sure about that? Stick. Kinda have to build up adrenaline points. Can you get out of the come corner? On. Right, come on, follow me. Now you come here. You come here. I'm not I'm not I'm not going there. Okay. Well, it was a hard fight, guys, but we did it. Oh, we got Loth's Diary. Most entries cannot be deciphered. Some pages are smeared with grease and ink blots. Day 143. 
Now that's what they call popularity. They've been coming in droves lately to join our hands. In fact, I've already had I've already had to start turning some away. Sadly, most of the newcomers are dung boot booted jelly diddlers. God, send that lot to to demand coin from a caravan, and even the horses would saw themselves laughing. That's why I've put Carlo in charge of drilling the new recruits. He's pitched camp to the south of Lynx Crag, that rock where the witches live. I despise such old wenches like plaguey vapors, and would gladly fix up a pyre for her. But after what happened at the Cutter in Estate, bet my own danglies that was her doing, so we'd best leave her be. Oh, this was something we looked at, no? We read something about this, with the, cut the Cutter in Estate and everything. I, I think we did. Um... I can't remember, I think we did. Right, day 167. It's decided, within two sundowns, everyone's going to be talking about my band's ride through Fox Hollow. My lads deserve some fun. And there are plenty of men to gut and wenches to diddle that God. Why, I, it's half, it's, why do I have to read this? <laughs> so, so we're in for quite a ball. Rumor, rumor going round claims clay pots grow from the ground in those parts. If it's true, perhaps I'll gather up a gaggle of those peasants, put them to work digging up that pottery, and we'll open up a shop. Uh, open a shop, up a sh up shop. Every organization's got to stay nimble and agile these days, so we'll pivot. Instead of slaughtering merchants and knights, we'll sell teapots. Day 182. Felt like my spirit was trying to crawl out of my bum. That's how badly our kitchen crew botched our last batch of vittles. When knights errant attacked us after that, not a man among us was strong enough to hold a sword. We've got to get our hands on a real cook. Only thing more dangerous than an imbecile with a sword is an imbecile in charge of a cooking pot. Perhaps a quick raid of the cockatrice? Fisherman's chowder would be a pleasant change after all this stew de dog do do. Stew de, stew de dog do do. Okay, I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a poo thing. Um, right. There's stuff down there, apparently. Before we loot the final thing, I am curious what is down here. It is another entrance. Oh, it's probably just some, like, animals or something. Right. Okay, let's loot this final chest and get this get this contract all finished up. Some more florins. But that's good, okay. I'm glitching through a rock. And that's everything, right? I mean, it's done. Do I just need to leave? If I leave through that other entrance... Wait, where's my fiend decoction? I'm not messing around. Right. Fiend... This one, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, whoops. Ah. Oh. Okay, whatever. Oh, my toxicity is really high, though. Hang on. Okay. And done. There you go. A hand's reign of terror has ended. You've destroyed a hand's base and killed its leader. This has put an end to the power. Damn it. Whatever that said. Okay. I almost read it that time. I'm watching your flinty hide. <laughs> uh huh. I just, I just literally. Okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna say it anymore. They know. They know what I did. I'd need to say it. Oh. They have also. Oh, I was gonna say they've restocked everything, but I don't think they have. I'm pretty sure I looted this place pretty thoroughly on my way through with, you know, my, my reign of terror. Um, so let's just sell what we've got to this guy. There's still a red thing here. It's a weird little red mark. It might be above, maybe. Oh, it might, it might... Actually, I can hear something above. Okay, it probably is. I missed this, apparently. Excuse me. I can, I can, I'm seeing why I missed it. Ugh. No, 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 come on. Oh, look, I'll just walk up. I'll just walk up. 
Right, I'm gonna need you guys to just be out of the way slightly. Please get out of the way. Okay. Worth it. Seems you did our work for us. If it was your job to exterminate them, yeah, I did. They were like an ulcer on Tucson's derriere. Loath half-breed. The most cankerous of them all. Who was this Loth? Craft something for me, can you? This Loth half-breed. Part elf? You might have had a look before you tore out his innards. He was called half-breed. Rumored to be half-elf. But in truth, who knows? Besides, how is one to know a half-elf? By one normal ear? One pointy? I've no notion. Probably right. You mean they really have two different ears? No. You really don't know a thing about them. Hmm. Right. Well, I want to sell some stuff. Mind if I have a look at your goods? Be my guest. I've top-notch armor. But as an expert, you'll see that for yourself. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff I need to sell you. I got this sword, I think, for... Oh, this is actually a pretty decent sword. Um, maybe I should use this. <laughs> it's actually a pretty... This is the sword I got for wagering my my sword in that Gwent tournament, right? Um, okay. Um, yeah, we'll just sell all of them except that. Although that sword's pretty good. I think the Tucson Knight sword is better. But still, kind of cool. This is how you build up your money, guys. Okay. Uh, I did do that. Right, okay, whatever. What was I saying? Okay, well, I got Roach's... Um, I didn't sell Roach's mask, is what I was going to say. So I'm getting, like, distracted by what all this is. I didn't go up here before, did I? Um, there was, like, no reason to. Well, there's no one here. I mean, there could have been a guy here. I don't think so. Whatever. I killed I killed the main guy. That's all that matters, right? Okay. Amazing. Well, no, no. I sold everything except for a roach thing that I haven't put on roach yet, and I realized I got. I think it's the... It's got, like, a druid name, which is kind of cool. I think. Or maybe not. It seems to have a similar name, at least, to the place where the druids are in Toussaint. You know, obviously, we can't go and see the druids. It would have been cool if they'd, um... They'd allowed that. That would have been actually really cool. Right, where's Roach? Come here. I don't want to deal with that. They're not marker. They're just little things we gotta... So, should I use this sword? Is it better? It doesn't have as much armor piercing, and it doesn't give me as much bonus experience. It's good for a bunch of other stuff. It is actually really, really good. I'm gonna use the manticore stuff for now, just because I'm like, ugh, I'm sort of fine with this. Um, I'm gonna put on the Roach hat. Curious how it looks. It's this one. I was going to sell it, but I kind of thought, eh, not too bothered. Roach, come here. I don't want to fight them. Why? Why? Whenever I'm near an enemy, books me off immediately and runs away. Whenever she's near an enemy, just, just stands there. Move! What are you doing? Let me have a look. Just has no idea what is going on. Uh, it looks okay. I mean, I'm not going to use it. It's, it's too, like encompassing. To be fair, most of the Tucson ones are. I'd rather have one that was just like a little blinder, you know? Not not too much. Can you please... Right, okay, Roach is being awkward. Um, I sold all that stuff. I've got 10,000 now. It's gone up. I'm gonna go to this marker now and it'll be... It'll be good. Okay, I pretty much made it. There's... Oh, not great stuff going on. There's a Knight Errant in distress. Don't worry, Knight Errant. I have the power. Ow. It's no problem. Yeah, it's no problem. There's some stuff here, though. Okay, we got all of them. We got all of them. Was that the same Knight Errant from before? We're going to have a look at him. Knight Errant? Hello? Where are you? Where have you gone? There he is. Yeah, I got no idea. They all look very similar. He did say thank you once again. I think I shall say and go hunt sheep. Yeah, pretty is a good idea. 
I wouldn't recommend going around and fighting, you know, six people at once unless you're a genetically enhanced superhuman and they have no idea what they're doing. Um, right. Oh, you're really, really good. Um, because yeah, if you think about it, fighting six people at once with a sword, how many people in real history do you think have actually managed to do that? Like, that, that is hard. Unless they were just really dumb. Uh, orders for Edgar... Oh my god. Cizau de... de Doigitz. I don't know. To Edgar... C oh my god. Cizau de... Doigitz. I don't know. GTS. Doi GTS. <laughs> right. I'm sending you one of those miscreant knights. This particular blowed... Blow... Bloeda... Bloeda... Shrek. What the hell? I don't know. Attacked our lads near Fox Hollow. Sent six of them, and one dog off to push dairy. Oh, off to push daisies. What am I saying? I'm, I'm so bad at reading. I'm normally better than this, okay? The reason why I'm so bad at reading in these games is because it's all French, right? Everything I'm reading is French. Um, <laughs> where was I? Um, uh, to, off to push daisies. I was about to hack him apart on the spot. Then I thought, this harlot's brood deserves a more thorough hacking than I can give. So use those famous scissors of yours and trim him of all... Oh my god. Pro... Pro... Protuberances? And danglies. Pro... Pro... Protuberances. Must be. And danglies. Then cut out his innards and make or and make or Um, just be sure to tie him up good before you get to work. Even with his hands tied, the maggoty mutt swung so hard, teeth came pouring out of Balaf's jaw like crowns spilling from a full pouch. Loth. Well, Loth's dead. Um, cool. Well, we dealt with that. Let's just go in here. It's fun. Um, oh, there's a horse. That was cool. Okay, well, that's another marker dealt with. I'm pretty sure I got everything here. I'm going to head off to the next one, guys. I think that's basically all of them done up here, too, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, and I will, I will see you at the next one. Hmm. Okay, guys, I've actually just arrived in a town on my way to the next marker, and I, I realize I don't think I've played Gwent with this innkeeper. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Give me that. I'm actually just going to quickly set it to... I don't think I've even talked to this innkeeper. Um, yeah, and maybe this will be one of the Skelligan cards I need. We'll see. I'm actually going to select the Skelligan quest just to see if it goes up. We're on 16. Hello. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? Mm, had wine on my mind all day. What kind? Red? White? Rosé? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What appellation? Mm, I'll need to think about it. Geralt, we have plenty of wine, okay? Tell me something about the area, would you? Hmm, what's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bourbeau, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? Really? Hmm. Thanks. Keep an eye out in that case. Okay. Um, you play Gwen? So I haven't Gwen at this person. Gwen? Maybe we could play around. Okay. Please, sir. I mean, I guess I could play my monster deck. It has, um, it has been a while since I last played it. I mean, it's, it's a terrible deck. Do I have any better cards? Like, who, who's my leader? This Aradin. Um, that's actually a pretty good card. Uh, you know, arguably. That's pretty good, too. That's actually really, really good. Can restore a card from my discard pile, huh? Um, you know what? I'll leave it. I don't think the monsters even have that many spies. Right. Ugh. Okay, okay, this is an okay hand. We didn't get all of them at once. Right, I'm gonna open with Siri. Okay, they're gonna immediately spy me. You know what? I'm gonna skip. Yep, I, I, was, I was expecting this, but it is fine. For I have the advantage. Right, that's fine. See, I have a one card advantage. Okay, and then I'm gonna open with the um with the vamps, I think. 
I was going to do the crones, but then I realized that would probably be an immediate scorch. I don't want to use any spies. I want to sort of save that because I, I have a bit of difficulty. Okay, they've skipped. This is good. No, it's not. I don't want to use spies at the moment <laughs> because then all the crones will... Right. Um, yeah, this is fine. Is there anything I can play? No. Okay. Round one is mine. Kind of want to open with the crones, but I need to put up some sort of defense. I think I'm going to put up Villain Tradmer. And then I'm going to crone. And then I'm going to start doing the spying stuff that I can do. Okay. And now we begin the great, the great spy onslaught that I can also do. Okay, this is good. See, look, we got a scorch there. Right, now let's get their next spy. Let's revive um, Dijkstra. Should have probably revived the higher one, because that's probably what they're going to give back to me. Okay. Right, now we're just going to put some golds. Things looking okay. They can't do anything yet. I'm going to stick the Karen down on the front row. Should buff everything. Okay, they're really playing for time too, it feels. Although little do they know, I have this little beauty. Okay, they're buffing everything in the back again. Uh, am I going Vesemir here? Yeah, why not? I can't play Dandelion. Wow, they are really just playing whatever the hell they have. Uh, I'm assuming they're like saving like the final thing or something. No, they are not. Okay, well I can do this then. Haha. <laughs> right. Um, I'm gonna really incur wrath here, guys, because this guy has been very annoying to me. You know, trying to beat my monster deck. How dare they? Right, we did it. Amazing. Right, what card do we get then? I want to see. Oh, we got a new card, it seems. We're on 17 now. We got Ceres. Oh, Ceres is a good card. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually quite good. Thank you for the game. Well, what do you sell? Welcome. I don't really care what you sell, but I... I don't know, there seemed to be some dialogue before. Uh, no, you sell stuff that I don't need, because I don't need anything. I've, I've almost got a complete Geralt, I feel. Apart from I need to get a better sword. Okay, well, that was good. Um... What's my inventory way on? 150, that's not too bad. So what was I doing? Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to this marker, and then I have to do the the final two of these, and then I can collect my payment. And then we are done with the little contracts things. I don't know, Roach is just not appearing? Okay, there she is. Right. Let's go. Go, go. I miss the old, I do like this saddle, because obviously it's like a custom saddle and everything, but I'm kind of, I kind of like the, uh, I think my favorite, I did like the Afiri, I think, thought the, um, what was it, the Unvik saddle? That was really, really cool when we used that in Skellige. Oh, hang on. Should I make a save? Is this like a quest or something? It's just, oh, it's an abandoned site. Okay. And we got them all. Amazing. I'll finally I did it. Right. To drink right. And I'll drink to your health. Oh, orders written on a scrap of so hide. Job's a simple one. You have to comb the warehouse of the freight freight docks. Freight freight docks. Take any food. I think freight freight docks. Whatever. Take any food supplies you find and scurry back here. Toot sweet. There's a load of knave, knaves errant around, and plenty of her ill smelling greases guardsmen. Filibert. Oh, this one of Filiberts? Oh, yeah, I guess this is much one. further south. Right. Is that all of them, really? I feel like there would have been more. Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna. 
Yet another fugitive from the north? Why are you here? Don't know if you noticed, but I just saved your ass. Yes, yes, though not without a reward in mind, I wager. I know your kind. Of course. And I'll want a share of your beggar's alms, too. Wanted to take a look at your goods first. May I? Hmm. I suppose. But you're to touch nothing, and on purchasing pay in full, in hard currency. Understood? Well, I was going to sell something to this guy, but I'm thinking he might not give me the best prices. Nordlings, what about them bothers you so much? Apart from the fact that they are all thieves, liars, and layabouts, not a thing. Oh, fair enough. Show me your wares. Promise not to touch anything. Obviously, I'm kidding. Uh... Uh, I don't care. I'm just going to sell it. I don't want to get, like, full carry weight halfway through this. He probably does give me okay prices. I'm sure he's just, you know, he's fine. Um, cool. Well, I think so. He's got a lot of stuff. He's definitely a business fella, for sure. What is this? Beauclair binders. That's cool. I might put on the Beauclair binders. Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, I just, I don't like the ones that, like, fully cover her face. You know what I mean? Like, they're fine. I have the grapevine one. Oh, I, that one's fine, I guess. It just looks a bit, I don't, I'm not a fan of them, you know? What about this? Eh. I mean, I could go and get the other blinders. It's not like I really care much. I think the Tucson, the Beauclair one is probably fine. Right, okay, I'm going to loot this place for finally notes. Obviously, I'll pull you back in, but I will I'll get going with that now, and then we will move on to the next one. Okay, guys, I have pretty much made it to the next marker. There appears to be some, some monsters here, which is quite cool. There was no, like, special loot in the other place other than that note I found, that dead guy. Which, Show me what you know I already showed you. So, let's deal with these guys. Oh. And um, we'll just get this done quickly. Um, easily done. <laughs> See, getting these little markers, always good. I always enjoy it. It's very rewarding, you know? Ooh, letter to Pascal Pellissier. Uh, my darling Pascal. I, tr I trust this missive finds you in good health. As you know, my affections for you are powerful beyond all measure, and I yearn for you to become my husband with all my being. Soon we shall stand together at the marital altar, but I hope you understand this must be a ceremony to make the Duquesa herself green with envy. Do not think this an ad admonishment? Admonishment in any way, my dear, but we both know your modest soldier's wage will not allow us to put on the extravagant ball which we both deserve. But do not be sad, I have found a solution to our little problem. You surely know about the shipwreck at the bottom of the Sans Retour. Um, but I doubt you know the full history of how it came to be there. Back in the time of Duke Raymond, one of the wealthiest men in the duchy, Gel Sasqua, 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 I don't know, Sasqua. Sask, Saska, I don't know, decided to hold a ball in the middle of the river. And what a ball it was, beautifully quaffed, grand dames, elegant gentlemen in white shirts and striking doublets. Gail, appar Gail apparently took a, God, Gail, Gail apparently took a crate of jewelry aboard and changed rings multiple times to impress all with his wealth. Um... The event, uh, yeah, the event was in full swing when suddenly a violent storm rolled in. The wind snapped the masts and capsized the vessel. All the wealthy guests, draped in gold and jewels, sank to the bottom in a flash. This tragic story might yet have a happy ending, however, for I have obtained the key to Gel, Gel Sask, Sasqua, Sasqua's chest, I don't know. Um, I imagine you know why our fortune, our future prosperity, sorry, I imagine you no what i imagine you know see why wouldn't it be now i imagine i'm assuming it's now i imagine you now see why our future prosperity is within easy reach or i imagine you know see why our future prosperity is within easy reach after all the drowned dead do not need diamonds am i right am i not right you loving you more than life itself bella de gunes haven't i read her name before pretty sure i have read her name before 
I'm, I'm like certain I have actually. Hmm. Right, well, we'll go and get this. Nice little treasure. Good. Let's have a look. It's nice to swim in Tucson. Beauclair over there. There's the ship. So, loads of gold, gold and jewels, huh? This would be good. You know what? Let's get the blizzard on. Sorry, killer whale. God, I always get the names wrong. Um, okay. Let's make a save. And down we go. Oh, God damn it. Hang on. Oh, I, do I dove at the wrong place completely. Okay, so there should be a lot of stuff down here, right? Well, we found one of them. And then we found... A bunch of stuff. Um, but I also want to get more. Some florins. Oh, this is a true treasure hole. Or treasure hoard, I don't know, either or. Uh, uh, what is happening to my camera? I cannot see. Oh god, I might need to go back up. I can do it. Don't need to go all the way back up and then come all the way down to get one chest. Okay, right. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to really pull some measures here to survive. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's go back down. <laughs> See what else there is. Right. I'm sure there'll be more. Right. Just like on the sea floor as well, because we just kind of looked in the boat. You see that pot there? Did I loot that pot? I don't even know. Apparently I either did or it has been, like, there's nothing in it. Where is this drowner? There's like a drowner around me, apparently, but I, I don't see it anywhere. I think we might have got every bit of loot in the first trip down. And then I just complete the quest after I got the red one, right? Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, amazing. I think I got every bit of loot from there. That's good. I swim back up. Ugh. Right, there you go. Right, I'm going to head to the next marker, guys, um, which I guess will be the final ducal thing, though. No? Yeah, and then I guess that'll be maybe done with markers for today. I mean, how many more do we have? We got quite a, quite a small amount. <laughs> really, we got how many? Let's count how many we got. Actually, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've lost, I've lost my count. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve markers left. That's not really that many at all. That's like nothing. If we, if we just decided one part just to get them all done, which I probably will. Not this part though, then I will, um... You know, that won't be long. That'll be, like, a small amount of the part, I think. Depends how long each marker is. I think some do lead to, like, quite long quests. But that'll be something I'll do um, down the line, I think. For now, I'm just, like, that was enough sort of markers, I feel, for today. Once we get this final thing, I want to turn this in, and we'll do some of the uh, other little secondary quests. That might be quite good. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do some more later on. Who knows? But we'll see. There appears to be, like, a quite interesting marker on the way to this one, so I'm just going to do this first. Like, it, it was in a cool-looking area, so I'm wondering what it will be. Almost there. Oh. Castel Dacia Abandon... something. I didn't get to read it all. How you like that silver? Hello? Vengeance will be mine in this life or in death to come.
That was weird. Um, this is the hidden treasure. Note by Vendergilder from Filbert's Hands. My Vendergilder, okay. I've always enjoyed practicing my craft. Killing came as naturally to me as blowing my nose. They raised me to be a knight, and being a brigand's not much different. First, blood and swords, then wine and harlots to wash the worries away. But ever since that horrid night, everything has changed. My dreams are filled with nightmares in which I relive those events step by step. We took the estate by storm and pulled Maximus Mac Macrinus out of his bedding, still in his nighties. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, nighties, yeah. Right. Yet we had to put off dealing with him and first see to his family. Those are our orders, like it or not, but it's one thing to impale some corpulent cow diddler with a wine-stained mustache and quite another to string up a snot-nosed runt. He scored like a little girl when the lads threw a rooster at noose around his neck. Macrinus tried to buy us off, even showed me the candlestick lever that opens the hidden vault where he hides his family treasures, but Philibert's orders were clear. God. Next up was Maximus's wife. The lad spent a long time uh running away with her, making Maximus watch. Jesus Christ. Too long. I didn't know the harlot brood and haven't a clue what he did to Philibert to make him wish such a fate on him and his family, but that was too much for me. Only his whole clan was only uh once his whole clan was swinging, did he turn our did we turn our attention to Macrinus? We stuck him with hot pokers, cut off his ears, then slit his gut. Jesus! And he, throughout all this horror, he didn't scream once, only groaned under his breath. When it came time for him, him to die in a puddle of his own excrement under the tree where we'd hanged his son, he looked me in the eyes and whispered, "Vengeance will be mine in this life, in this life or the next." Those were his last words. Dark clouds filled the sky in that instant, and a harsh gale sprung up. Then I gave the order to move out. I remember perfectly how, when I reported this back to Philibert, he was all smiles, happy as a clam. Didn't even harangue me. I think it is that, yeah. Didn't even harangue me for not losing the manor. It was clear he cared about one thing, and one thing only. Macrinus's death. Yet news of the treasure we left at Castle Decius quickly spread around Mont Crane, and a few lads from our hands are fixing to head over there to see what what they can find. I'll join them. I'll bury the rem I'll bury the remains still lying there in the yard. Maybe then their spirits will know peace. Maybe I'll wipe away at least some of my sins. Maybe at last I'll be able to sleep soundly. God. I mean, what did what did Macrinus do again? Was he the one that like was you know stole his girl? I don't know. I just can't. I I feel like I would have maybe heard something about why he seemed to hate that guy so much. Pro I probably have. It's hard to remember like every little thing. I mean, this was a cool... I mean, it was a depressing little thing to read, but... It, so I'm assuming I killed his ghost? Well, it was his ghost, right? So he, he somehow did some sort of curse. Maybe we should bury the remains. He said he hung them in a tree, right? Well, they're not in a tree, that I, at least that I can see, so... Maybe they did manage to bury them. Okay, well, I guess I'll search the house. Pretty sure I've got everything else. Although I haven't looked around here. I, th I think we got everything right. Oh, no, no. There's a couple barrels. See, guys, I gotta loot everything, all right? I'm running out of... Uh... Money. <laughs> Look, I have to... I've already... I've already committed to this. Okay. Right. Ooh. So, we, we're in the house. I mean, Susan, you don't see quests... It's good they don't show quests like that. They're described, I suppose. Might be a bit much. It was a lever, right? You said there was a hidden lever of some kind. Ah. Okay, a chest. I got like 4,000 crowns or something, didn't I? Wow. I don't know how much I got then. I got quite a lot. 400? Mac Maximus Nonius Macrinus's journal. Was he a... Was Macrinus like an emperor or something? I don't know. Right. Journal filled with notes written in beautiful calligraphy. It boggles the mind, but the dregs drinking Philibert von Witten has returned to the duchy. And it seems he's not alone. He's gathered a group of fellow sow snoggers, and together they've taken to attacking travelling merchants. The son of a knight has become a brigand. What an outrage. 
My brother knights warn me Philibert's hands is harassing men for information about my family. Do I have cause for fear? I've heard Philibert has reached rock bottom, but could he really sink so low as to raise a hand against someone who once spared his life? It, this is the guy. This is the guy, right? This is the guy that, like, uh, he had a duel with him but because because it was to do with that girl um, that he liked, and he do he said, "Oh, I, I want to have a duel because you know I li I, I like the girl, but she likes you or something." And 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 then he beat him, and then he didn't kill him and let him go, and then he felt like really disgraced about it, and he was so upset about it and everything, and yeah, and he ordered them to come here. It all links in. I mean, it's it's depressing. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a good way to die that he, he ordered he, like he, he did very little to warrant that response. You know what I mean? Like that was a that was a major response. It feels I'm almost thinking it'd be good for me to like do. I know I said I was going to finish off the markers, not finish off. Sorry, not do any more markers, but I'm like, maybe I should just do that one, that one and that one, because then I've got those three out the way, you know, and then all I have is these ones up there. I mean, I think I will, guys, you know, I mean, good thing about this, though, is you can always skip it if you if you run, don't want to see it all, but I, I feel like it's good for me to get it done, you know? It's always good. It means you don't have to do them in the future, too. What is happening? Why is there explosions? Oh, God! Okay, we got him. Surprise attack. Whew. Roach, fuck. Come here. Okay, I'm coming up to the marker. It's like a little hidden villagey thing. Or a person in distress. I like how Carol's just like, ugh. Heart is so powerful. I, I love it so much. And that's all of them. We will help the person in distress once I have looted everything here. Um, in a minute. Slow now, let's not do anything rash. Okay, I'm just gonna keep looting then. Okay, or not. <laughs> nice try. Um, there's a cave in there. Crikey, it's that witcher! I slaughtered Starling Strikel's head! Oh, I, I slaughtered many a hands. Circle him! Circle him! My cover! Just keep... Keep up the odds. I, I will admit it is very powerful. This is quite a cool little bandit thing, you know? It's quite unique, at the very least. Cool. Okay, pretty sure everything's been looted. I can now rescue this guy. I need a key. Oh, okay, maybe not everything has been- I missed the one thing, okay. Ernest- Ernest Scrawler's Journal. Ding my dong, today we drink to the last drop, or till we drop. Four Fingers has us- has us pitch camp near Della- Delenfer Pass, and to keep from going daffy with boredom, we set out on a little reconnaissance mission and happened across a merchant caravan. Sadly, we got a bit carried away. Instead of gagging and hog-tying them, the lad sharpened some stakes and stuck the fat feckers on them. Oh, God. Uh, that was terribly exhausting work, but we had good fun doing it. And no cleft kisser can take that away. There was one skinny snipe amongst them, but we left him for later. What matters is their wagon... Uh, their wagon were packed full of quality wine, just begging to be guzzled. Naturally, we established watches, so not everyone would get sloshed at once, as is only common sense. My fool of a papa used to say, Sonny, the most important thing in life, life's to like your job. Do that, you'll be happy. That feeble pate, that feeble pat, whatever, pat, pate, uh, was a carpenter, was a carpenter. No tart twiddling idea what he liked about smacking at wood, but bum botch him anyways. Geese has been pushing daisies for ages now. And if he were and if he were alive, I'd write him a letter like this. Papa, I like my work. A whole lot. And thanks for teaching me to read and write, because now I can let you know I give absolutely zero effects about your advice. Well, seems like a nice guy. Um You safe my life, I thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. 
will do. Oh. Optional. Go go see you coming about you, about your award for fulfilling the contracts. Oh, so I'm assuming that was like another contract I can do. You know what? I'm gonna leave that marker there. I I, I feel like I'm gonna go turn in this other this thing first and see what happens. Because I have like dealt with a lot of extra markers and I'm wondering if Faster. it will. I'm curious, I'm curious. Um I don't know. I, I can go and get a reward. I'm gonna go you know, I'm gonna get my reward if I decide after that point that I'm gonna um if I'm that I'm gonna do that other marker just because it's kind of like a sore thumb for me now, though those two at the bottom. You know, they're kind of like separate to everything and it's like, eh, I could deal with them. Then I, it just means that in the future, if I want to do like a marker part, I'm just in one area getting them all quickly. As opposed to having to then go to those two areas. You know what I mean? Just better to get those out of the way, I feel. Um, so we'll go back and we'll, we'll collect our pay. We'll collect our pay. Then I might end up doing those other two. I mean, God damn it. I may as well just do them. I'm just going to do them. What am I, what am I talking about? Why, why am I like changing strategy? You know what? This is a fine strategy and I'm sticking with it. We'll collect our Move pay it. afterwards. There's two markers, literally two, and that's all I'm going to do today. I actually promise, because they're, you know, we'll save the other ones for a future thing. I think what I'll do is just ride into the wall, you know, like the edge of the world, because then it just gives me a free fast travel back to civilization. Unless it's closer to go from here. Oh, pretty easy. Um... Loot that, loot that, loot that, <laughs> loot that guy. I hear more things. I'm just gonna try and avoid it, I think. Yeah, we'll get the note in a minute. Uh, empty book, that's kind of fun. Right, right, I got everything, just this final note. Orders on stained paper and a key. Timon, hold off on fishing out the cargo. One of you drowning is enough. I've sent Go and Doe to you. Before those lads joined our hands, they were pearl divers in a penal colony in Gemera. Is, oh, how do you say that? Is it Gemera? Or Gemera? Or Gemera? I don't know. Gemera, whatever. Gemera. Um, gem, gem, Gemera? I don't know. Right. They'll have an easier time bringing up the chests. Once you get the goods, return to the car, Caraberta Woods. There you'll join I Imeric Tapeworms crew. Um, together you're to pick those academics camp clean. Tents, pallets, food supplies, you're to take it all to Mont Crane. We could do with a bit of comfort at the castle, at the Castel Gropin, or the Gropin, or Gro Gropin, uh, Academy's expense. Just try not to sink any more boats, Philibert. Woe and doe. Alright, let's go and get our, our thing for the sunken boat. Supplies invoice and a bunch of cool stuff. And we'll read the supply invoice in a minute. Uh, invoice of receipt for the below listed equipment delivered to the Imperial Academy at Castel Groupin or Grau, Graupin, Grau, Grau, Graupin. Whatever. Archaeological expedition led by Professor Noel Ivor. Name of equipment. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to read all the equipment. Acknowledged receipt of above information equipment. You know what? We don't really need to read all this. This is a lot to read, but you know, we get it. Equipment. There's a receipt. Like, I don't need to, I, I read a receipt, I think, once, and I've just done it since, and I'm like, you know what? I don't need to read receipts. There is nothing that I like gain in in like knowledge from reading a receipt of use ever I guarantee it unless it's like a you know like a witcher a witcher quiz what was the what was the what was the manifest of the boat that fell off on the side of this river in Tucson it's like uh I have no idea yeah I don't see anything else and I would see it if I were to look cool right I'm gonna do one more literally one more um, yeah, it's pretty quick of me to just walk there. Right, I'll head there now, and I will see you guys there. Okay, I've reached the Toussaint prison on Crane Isle. There is apparently a marker here. Interesting. Hello, knights. I'm the du the Duchess, the Duchess, whatever you want to call her, 
I'm her friend. Can I come in, please? No. I will find a way. I will sneak around the side. We'll see. Because there is a marker that I wish to go to. Can I sneak my way in somehow? It doesn't look like it. It'd be kind of a bad prison if I could get in that easily. Um, yeah, don't mind me, guards. Just hanging around the outside of the prison. Entrance? There's a cave. I'm going to sneak my way through that cave. Hang on. Some guard, like, lost his trousers when this collapsed. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to the cave. Sneaky. Do I need Blizzard? Probably not. I, I don't think it will expect me to use Blizzard here. Blizzard, oh my god. Kill a whale. I don't know why I keep... I don't know what that is. I've got just this sort of mental thing where I have to call it Blizzard all the time. No idea why. It's, it is completely different. It's like a completely different... It's because I think Blizzard is like snow. It's, it's probably just as deep as that, honestly. Oh, I probably should use it, shouldn't I? Ugh, I'm already here. Just give me a minute. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's fine. Look, I just gotta direct Geralt in the correct way. Well, it doesn't look like there's a sneaky way to get in here, so I'm just gonna get this loot and then head out. A... What? A masterfully ornamented key. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna drown. I should have drunk the thing. And that wasn't even the treasure? Oh, it could be for whatever this treasure is, because apparently I didn't get it. Not sure how. Oh. Escape Artist Journal. Part of the journal is sticky with dried blood. 22nd day of the month of Burke. The worst part of my work's not that I have to crawl through cesspits, jump from great heights, dive into canals, be tied up, untied, lashed, burned, tortured, have my fingernails ripped out or scraped off while digging tunnels barehanded. No, none of that's the worst. The worst is that I've got to document it all, then hide the notes from the guards. Each escape must be noted down in detail, otherwise my employers won't have a basis for releasing my pay. For releasing my pay. The work of a professional escapologist is not easy, my friend. 25th, 25th day of the month of Burke, so three days later. This time I was given a contract in Tussar. This is going to be a piece of cake. The guards are fat and drowsy and the walls poked. Or pocked. Pocked? Pocked. I don't know. Poked. Pocked. Illegible fragment. I was given a thorough hiding today. Those guards are fat and indolent, true, and in indolent. In indolent? Indolent. Indolent. I don't know. Indolent. Uh, true, but they know how to whip, but they know how to whip. Blast. Think, you're getting, think I'm getting too old for this. I'll finish this contract, then it's time for a change of trades. 28th day of the month of Burke, three days after that. Ha! I'm on Lucky Olsen. My fellow inmate, a man wrongfully convicted, told me a story about an elven treasure trove hidden underwater somewhere south of the prison. I believe he sensed I was planning an I believe he sensed I was planning an escape. I'm supposed to take that sly rogue with me in exchange for the key. Perhaps that's my ticket to an early retirement. Legible fragment. First day of the month of Bur of Blathe. Okay. I completed my dig. I need to learn I had miscalculated and excited right and exit sorry, an ex ex what the hell? And exited right into the lake. My companion had not learned to swim, it seems, and now he never will, for he sleeps the big sleep, dreaming of fish. Sadly, I didn't manage to take the key to the elven treasure from him. It took all my strength just to get back to our cell, where a pack of guards were waiting for me. They knocked out a few of my ribs and a handful of teeth, but I should heal. Eleventh day of the month of Blathe. Uh, things are good. They moved me to another cell. Bars on the window saw the days when elves ran to Tsar. Uh, so I'll loosen those rust rotten rods this evening, and then it's onto the lake. Then it's into the lake. It's a long drop, true, but that's no worry for me. Then I'll report back to my employer and check out that tale about a treasure. If all goes well, I'll be... I'll soon be done with escapology. Find the sunken ruins and the elven treasure. So I already have the key. Ah, is this where I think it might be? Aha, it might be. It, I think, no, in fact, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm like 90% sure it is. This is what I was talking about before, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't loot it. And I said to remind me about this if it ever comes up again. Awesome. So, hang on. I'm just going to quickly check. I know I shouldn't. I'm just... Did the escapologist guy actually escape and manage and live and stuff? I'm just curious. Like, did I loot that off a body or did I loot it off just some, like, some, like, chest or something? 
It was a body. Okay, so he died. That's sad. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's go and get this treasure. Okay, I'm pretty much there. Just on my way there, swimming. I've already thoroughly looted this place. I can hear some noise. I'm assuming it's the portal. Um, right. So, if I remember right, it was in here. And I looted everything in here, right? Except this one chest that I... Oh, no, no, I didn't. I purposely left everything. I remember now. Because I was like, oh, this is a place I need to loot at some point. So, I will leave everything. Here it is. A bunch of cool stuff. Give me that killer whale. I want to check if I left any other loot in this room, because apparently I didn't loot it. I didn't loot it. I think I remember why. It was because I was like, oh, well, I have to come here at some point anyway, so I'll, 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 I'll leave it. Yeah, we got everything. Okay. Oh, no. What? There's like a pile over there? I would have missed that CF if I didn't turn around. I was just curious. I was like, did I miss get everything? Hang on. I'm going to drown. Right, we got it. But it really ramps up. Oh, hang on. i got to wait till my breath. I always forget about the breath thing. Hang on. Right, breath. Come on. Any, any easy way out? No. Okay, well. I'm going to swim my way out of here and make my way to the Ducal... I'm actually going to select the quest now. Make my way to the Ducal Camelengo. And I'm going to... Not that one. I'm going to collect my money. This is going to be good. Let's go and do it now. Regeneration potion formula. It measures a ver, ver, ver vervain extract, leshen fang, sancrum, althantra, uh, broth made of young mandrake shoots. Grind the larger ingredients, add the smaller ones, whole, boil everything in a bronze kettle using crystal water. Consume the mixture twice daily in half measures. Doses do not exceed the recommended dosage. Oh. A bunch of stuff I apparently didn't loot. That feels weird. Pretty sure I looted everything in here. Well, I didn't want to loot the books. Okay, right, to the to the Ducal Camelinga. I don't know if I'm going to pull you back in for that, guys. I just found a weird note. If I decide to or remember, maybe I'll show you that. Um, assuming some sort of regenerative formula that Regis is taking, which is kind of interesting. Right, I'm gonna go there now. It's gonna be cool. Okay, I have made it to I the. Believe you managed yes, to I, I did. I did that. Thank you. To the back to the Ducal Camelango. I have basically done every contract. It's been good. Well, I have done every contract, right? At your service. One hundred. Greetings, Knight. My most heartfelt gratitude, sir. Compensation for your sacrifice. I mean. It's, it's not much, is it? I also got a shield. Well, go in peace for a night. So I got. I got some sort of shield looking thing. What is that under? Is that like other? Ah. Ah. Oh, wow. It's a trophy. Oh, it's a pretty good trophy? It gives me some bonus XP from monsters, humans, non-humans, and some gold, but not much gold. You know what? I'm willing to use the trophy that I got from that. Why not? I like the pig one, but that'll do. So that's, we got a thousand crowns for doing all of those. I mean, I would have done them anyway, so it's not, it's just kind of an extra thing. It's kind of nice to be paid for it as well. So that's, that's, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I would have done them anyway. Right, that was cool. So we did that. We completed the quest too. Um, I actually don't have many markers left at all, do I? I d I'm glad I did some then. Right, we'll do those another time though, as I said. Um, we got some quests here. I'm going to do the level 37 quest. Oh, no, no. I'll finish the spoon quest, then I'll do this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That seems like a plan to me. I'm going to go and get the spoon. I'll go and do it now. Okay, guys, I have almost made it to where I have to get this spoon, but I know I said no more markers, but look, I was on my way to get the spoon, and I thought, look, there's two there. I, I may as well just grab them. That, that, that. It's, I'm not going to do any other ones. I could have done more, but I was like, look, it's literally next to it. Like, I'll have no other reason to come up here 
it's fine. And you know what? I think some of the markers might end up being quite fun quests. So we will uh, we'll see if any of these turn out that way. You know, not this one, but some of them. You know, and these are so easy for me to do, you know? Take no time. And that's all of those. See? Took me no time at all. I'm just going to loot quickly. Right. I'll be back with the loot. I mean, this, this that was this is easy, you know. It's kind of interesting. I'm in like a cave. I mean, the wolves. I'm gonna be honest, guys. They're 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 not the hardest of monsters to fight. Uh. Yeah, it, it it's not it's not been too tough getting through here. Is that what I? Yeah, I assume there would be one of these fellas. Hang on. Come on, come into my bomb. I, I, do you know, I was actually going to throw a Moondust Bomb. Is that not... Or is it Dimeritium? What's the one that, like, stops it regenerating? Yeah, it's that one. Did I get it? Oh, shit. Do I have to, I have to get out of the Dimeritium? Hang on. Yeah, throwing the Dimeritium bomb was not a good idea. Although it stopped him restoring health, I think. When does it calm down? Okay. Right, we got the wealth. <laughs> not too tough, really. Um, just a few weird bomb throwings. Right, I want to go get this bloody spoon. Ugh. Oh, come on. Got it. Okay. Some mushrooms. Oh, there's a little table in here. There's a bunch of stuff. God damn it! Alright, hang on. Let me just, just get rid of that. Okay, it works now. The Dimeritium bomb was fiddling with all my stuff. That was so weird. I just waited, like, so many days. Unintentionally. Uh, it's alright. Um, Giselle Duret's journal and a diagram for some sort of witcher sword many pages of the journal are filled but the last is dirtied and written in a chaotic hand it is done Countess de Sacor has bought ba Bazané farm or whatever and after so many happy years we have to leave our comfortable oh this is the person we killed the other werewolf that was with the red riding hood person remember comfortable abode. When Hubert received the eviction notice, he flew into such a rage it took a great deal for me to calm him. I explained it was already a miracle we'd been able to live so uh, live so long among men. I fear Hubert will prove unable to control his transformations while he is in such a state. We moved into a cave in the Bleasure Forest. They allowed us to take a few possessions from the farm. We have a bed, a table, and some candles. Things aren't so bad. The cave is a bit damp, true, and one night in, I can already tell it will play havoc with my joints. Um, Hubert had an attack when he heard me cough. He screamed he would return to the farm and sink his teeth in the Countess. I have a bad feeling. Hubert has disappeared. I'm terrified. Shivers run down my spine. I can taste blood in my mouth. I fear Hubert has gone off to kill. What will become of us if he loses if he loses all control? The remaining pages are torn out, claw marks visible on the back cover. Oh, uh, we so we killed the husband, right? Oof. Oh no. See, this is why it's cool to do markers and stuff. You get all these little, you know, little quests and stuff. It's quite cool. Okay, let's go and get the spoon. It's been long enough. I'm gonna make a save. And it's gonna be cool. Oh, this is very cool. So this, it was an elven cookbook he was after, right? That's like what the whole reason behind the spoon was. We have literally no need for it. But, you know, we can maybe sell it or give it to a cook. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be other things in the cave than just the cookbook. I love that. It would have been like linked across that that thing over there. Oh wow, look at this lighting. It's incredible. 
elven lighting. <laughs> uh, let's have a look up here then. Ooh. Okay, I think I've got everything right, surely. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna not jump off there. That didn't really work last time. Um oh. What am I doing? Hang on. Gotta make sure I have more of these potions. Okay. Fucking right, I'm unequipping the dimeritium bombs. I'm such an idiot, I'm such an idiot. What am I doing? Okay, bomb is cleared. Right, let's do this. That's the, the spoon key, I think. Lots of ingredients that apparently have kept all this time. There's the the main the main treasure. Oh, there's a lot of ingredients, God. Okay, well, we just got a bunch of stuff. That's cool. Ah, recipe for et et etoil blanche pasta, honey spice cake recipe, crayfish boil recipe, and a bunch of other stuff. Oh god, do I have to read these? I guess so. Ramses Gothorn's recipe for etoil blanche pasta, whatever. Um. Ingredients: one hearty scoop of thick yogurt, preferably ge gemerin, gemerin style or gemerin or whatever. I don't know. One handful of chanterelles, chanterelles. I don't know. One glass of red wine, semi-dry. One turkey breast. Tug. Oh my god. Tug. Tugliatelle pasta. Tugliatelle pasta. Tug tugliatelle pasta to taste. Six cherry tomatoes. One bunch of arugula. One Zeracanian bouquet garni, the kind with exotic herbs and spices, duntine olive oil. One small bowl of ricotta, salt and pepper, two cloves of garlic. This feels quite like an Italian recipe. Rub the turkey breast with salt, then immense, then immerse in a marinade made of the yogurt. Zeracanian bouquet and crushed garlic. Uh, okay, well, yeah, whatever. Leave in a cool place for at least two hours. Boil the chanterelle, chanterelles, I don't know. Till they are soft, but don't make jam out of them. Remember all al dente, you fool. Prepare the tagliatelli, 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 whatever, tagliatelli in the same way. If you make a mush here, you might as well hang up your apron, for you're no chef. Once the turkey's taken on the bouquet's fragrance, fragrance, throw it in a pan with the heated olive oil. Pour in the wine. Once it's boiled off, toss in the pasta. Let it fry for a bit. Cut the cherry tomatoes in half and add them to the noodles. Give it all a good peppering. Add two 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 teaspoons of ri ri what is it again ricotta Rico Rico ricotta mix thoroughly place the dish and decorate with the arugula i should i should make this this would be kind of fun to make actually i might give it a go right for future future me if you're looking for the recipe it's in this part so have a look <laughs> hopefully that helps ingredients three cups of raw buckwheat honey four cups of spelt flour one pat of but one pat butter um, Zeracanian spices to taste, three eggs, half a cup of cow's milk, one pinch of rock salt. Heat the milk, honey, and butter to a simmer over a low flame, then let cool until lukewarm. Add flour, eggs, and salt. Work vigorously until light and very sticky. Then put in a clay pot, cover with a cloth, cloth and leave in, a, leave in the cellar for a few days. Before baking, take from the cellar and leave in a warm place. Split into three equal parts and work each with a rolling pin. Bake each part separately in a hot oven for 20 minutes. Tastes great with plum marmalade. I understand it's like a craft and everything, but imagine like making a cake for yourself that takes, what, how long do you have to wait? You have to leave it in a cellar for a few days and then do all this other work. I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this one, but it might be fun, you never know. Um, crayfish boil recipe. Recipe for Ramses Gothon's signature crayfish boil. Ingredients: one full net of crayfish, salt, pepper, bay leaf, dill. Boil water in a large pot. Add salt, pepper, and bay leaf. Chop dill and add to give added uh, and add to give added freshness. Uh, when water reaches a rolling boil, add crayfish alive and boil for 20 minutes. Jesus Christ! Until they turn a bright red. Remove pot from heat and leave in a cold place for a few hours while the crayfish absorb the flavors. Best served warm with a dry white wine. 
Do I do something with the recipes or do I just have these cool recipes? Is it for us to make? That's kind of cool. Hello? I have the power. I can deal with these guys easily. I'm letting it hit me because I, I I could like easily avoid like look avoid but I just like to get more hits in. Um, you know I'd rather get the hits. Well that's very cool. I'm glad I did that little spoon quest. That was fun. Okay. Dragon nest. Need to destroy it. Oh. Right. We'll give it a go. Where's the dragon? I saw him and he has gone or she or it or the the dragon is gone. Ow. Oh, god damn it, Geralt, why? Okay. Dragon has been defeated. Um. Yeah, okay, we got everything. Right, I'm just going to blow up the nest, and then we'll head off. Final marker. That's all I'm going to do today, guys. As I said, I promised. Um, there you go. Right. Okay, amazing. That's done. Now I can actually get onto quests. So I do want to finish off the Skellige stuff, and I will do that today. But the first thing I think I'm going to do is this big game hunter contract, because that seems like a fun one, and it's also quite low level. So I'm going to head and do that now, guys, and I will be there with you when I am there in the game. Yes, I will go there now. Oh, look at that view, though. Right, yeah, I'll go there now. All right, guys, we are pretty much at where this, this contract begins. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a fun one. Um, we have to talk to, what is his name, Count Belled Belledal. Oh! We looted these notes before, didn't we? Oh, I remember, because we came here to do this Vinter thing, and I saw this, and I was like, what? Oh, so this is actually the contract. Okay, right. Um, well, there was notes here, but we already looted and read them. Um, if you want to find that, um, look at whatever part that was in. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet, I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. Ahem. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Um, this is the guy that had the notice that specifically wanted us, I, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, he sounds like he's from, like, Kavir or something, which is quite cool. Right. I need to know who you are. Tell me more. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <laughs> well, that was my grandpapa, dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. 
the very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilmar, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Yes, of course. I uh, accidentally knocked my controller halfway through the dialogue, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, right, what's this job entail exactly? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasister what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? I'll take the job. My pay, let's talk, because it's like a job for me. Um, yeah, we want to talk about the pay. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. I mean, it's pretty low. <laughs> we, we paid more to that, that child and for giving us a little bit of information about Detlaf. Uh, 245? Sublime! We have a deal! Uh, I guess that's okay. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Um, right. So, check Count Bardell's map to find good spots which do spy animals. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. For you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Okay, well, we're going to try and not harm them. Do I need some sort of bomb or something that can just stun them? Um, yeah, we'll see. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna walk. Come on, pound, count, pound, count Belladell. <laughs> um, right. Okay. I'm gonna go around this way. I can hear something over there. See it. There's a there's a giant bear over there. Count Belladal, are you following? Please keep up.
Hmm, I sort of want to not go near the bear. I'm going to go around, I think. Is this safe? Belladal, are you, are you coming? He's very slow. I'm, I'm wondering if I just walk in the circle, it'll just immediately charge at me. Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I've but one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. So, out of interest, what happens if I go and see the bear? Heard something. Grunting, panting. Something like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to come face to mug with a bear. We should move on. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's just let's just go this way. <laughs> okay, so we can sort of go and see it, but we we don't want to fight it. We don't want to fight it. Guess there's some deer. It looks like. Hello, deer. Hear that? Deer, I think. Incredible. Sharp as a razor, you're hearing. I mean, they are right there. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. They are there! Okay, w fair, whatever, right. Oh. Do we axie? Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Oh, come. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. You freeing her. A superb image. Okay. Right, we'll free her. A folk call which is heartless. This will put the light in that. Oh my! Oh, I, I Christ! I warn you. Apologies! The Paris Dysimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Paris Dysimac upset the animals. Better get out of here. I cannot abide poaching. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Right. I suppose it's the same principle. Consorting with the same person, I suppose, day in, day out. Right. I'm just going to make saves before I go to each of these areas. You never know. I don't want to mess it up. Use your witch sense to locate the giant. Yeah, okay. Oh, I hear something. Shh. Hear him. It's those... Uh... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Okay. Oh, this is a cool little tracking thing. Really don't want it to just attack me. Can hear something else. I'm so concerned. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Okay. Well, I'm assuming I can't destroy these monster nests, at least while I'm with this guy. I can always come back here. I'll make a little I'll make a little marker to remember that I should probably come back here at some point. Is here okay? Hmm. 
I'm trying to be quiet. How about here? I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Okay, we'll just have a look around. Could be the furthest away one. This is up quite high. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Hmm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Oh, you could stand here and get a good view. I'm going to assume we can't... I'm going to not walk over the monster nest. I'm going to walk around it. I mean, I don't know, but I, I just... I, I don't want to risk it, you know? Geralt did literally warn us about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Here? Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes. This will work perfectly. I mean, as I said, don't run, but... Okay. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Okay, so I can destroy the, the nests now. This is good. Right. Okay, so we can just walk over these. I was concerned. Right, I'm going to drop two. I'm going to do it quickly. Give me out, 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 give me out. Okay. Ugh. An excellent day for capturing moments. Exactly what I wanted. Come, we've disturbed them enough. Oh, thank you. Truly magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go, just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Okay. So just sort of to the left of where we are, I think. Okay, lead the count to the place where the peacocks live. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's find where these peacocks are. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. That was a cool noise. I'm just curious, why is this still lit up? I mean, I'd, I could just go to that sound, I guess. Shh. Hear that? They're calling to each other. Fabulous. We're getting close. Yeah, well, I could hear like a weird noise. Oh, hang on. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch.
Well, we can see them right there. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Okay. Wait till he's ready. Can I just walk into them? Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Okay, I'm just gonna try and do it as quickly as possible. Oh, this'll be a masterpiece! Smile, please! Giant centipedes! Damn it! Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! Can we just. Do we have to kill them? I have walked away. Ah, fair enough. Apparently I have to. Okay. Come on. Well, how is that not in the. That was... that was... tense. I, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. Okay, nice. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders, breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Not your boss, don't need to suck up to me. New life, something wrong before? My pleasure, really. Yeah, what, what was up? New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. <laughs> I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Sure, why not? Not my sort of thing so long. Of course, yeah, we'll come. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankolar. I'll be by. See ya. Oh, nice. Wait until noon tomorrow and go to the picnic. Okay, um, I'll, I'll go to a signboard first, because it looks like it's quite far away. Yeah. Um, there's just one down here, and then we'll wait until noon when we're there. Pretty be easier, right? It's, yeah, it's quite sad about his daughter, that whole thing, you know? But it was nice to do that little quest with him. That was cool. I liked it. Right, to Francolats. Oh. Right, well, I'm going to wait until noon, then I guess we'll go to the picnic. That would be very cool. Okay, it is noon, so we can go to this exp expedition ex exhibition now and um, take part in the picnic, which sounds quite cool. Oh, we're back here, huh? 
It's picturesque meadows and untouched woodlands are home to one of the most dangerous species of Myriopoda, this side of the Yoruba. The Beauclair centipede, as it's commonly called, is seen here, proudly displaying its remarkable chitin and calcium carbonate carapace. Yeah, that's quite cool. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quickly loot. Sorry, a couple tables. Honestly, I don't really need oh, to loot, do I? I don't know why I'm there. still doing it. Like, especially just this stuff I don't need. Right, I want to have a look at the exhibition. Geralt and the Panther. Oh, that's really cool. I like that, actually. That's really, really cool. Excuse me. Uh, excuse Whoa! me. The White Wolf taming Pokla centipedes. He did a selfie thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, a Witcher taming peacocks. Oh, that's quite. I like that one a lot. That's very, very cool. Those are photos. Those are some very cool photos. They look more like paintings. It's wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. Such an opportunity. Enjoy the exhibit. It was cool. I liked it. I want to have a look around. Can I have a look around the, the picnic and stuff? It's quite cool here. I'll talk to you in a minute, friend. There's notes. Um. Don't know if I got any new markers from that. I don't think I did. I'm not going to read them all. There's no point. As I said, I'm only going to read it if it's like old yellow or something. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, I probably have read them. Where bellies are oh. so tight. Excuse me. Don't drink wine. I'm just wondering if there's loot around. Oh, there's a red note. See? See? That's where you loot. Well, there's red something. That was a note. I thought it was, I thought it was a note I, I could see on the side. Letter from the wife of Count Belladal. My dearest. Wait, I wait till she stopped. Yeah, we did that. Okay. My dearest, everything here is good. For several days now, the sun has been shining and it is quite hot. So the window in, Cl so the window in Clarissa's room is open almost all day. If you could see her little face when the rays of sun hit it, pure joy. She looks just like she was before the accident. If it gets a bit warmer, I will have her chair taken to the garden. The day before yesterday, Master Bui Bai Bai Vards, whatever, Bai Vards, Bivard's wife, Elissa, visited us. You remember her, don't you? When the uh, Bivards moved to Kavir? All those society ladies were scared of inviting her to dine as she seemed to be either mad or some sort of self-taught witch. This was all because, despite not having the right education, she made magic ointments and cosmetics. It is said that she spent three years in the Dragon Mountains learning from some elven sorceress. Oh. You know I don't pay much heed to gossip, which is why... Uh, which is why when the butler announced her, I immediately invited her in for a glass of lemonade. It turns out she is an exceedingly charming person, and the stories of her alleged witchcraft are highly exaggerated. She actually studied for three years at Aratusa. Oh. But because of some bad investments made by her father, she had to leave the academy. She left, however, with a good knowledge of plants and their magical applications. She brought with her a healing ointment, which I have to rub into Clarissa's legs each morning and evening for ten days. When the treatment is complete, Alyssa promises to visit us again to see the results and advise us further. I have a good feeling about this woman. In my next letter, I'll tell you what happened with the treatment she recommended. Take care of yourself, my dearest. I beg you, don't overreact and do something silly. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to do. I love you, Arabella. Oh, thank God we defended him. D do we get to read the next letter? Have we already read the next letter? Previously, perhaps. Put your own house in order first. Yeah, one minute. Did, maybe he got. Maybe I can talk to him about it. You know what? We'll make a save, and I hopefully I can. Hello. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you. And I shan't let you refuse. 
You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Of course I'll hang it in my home. Oh, we get to ask. Okay, how is she doing? Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I meet a pass through Doblathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Hey, that's from the, um... Well, I'm, actually, most of you guys will probably know about that story in the books. You know, when he went there with Dandelion, and um, Torque was involved, I believe... Uh, oh, what was his name again? It was... It was the of World's End guy. Well, Philavandrel. Philavandrel. That that was the guy. Right. Exhibition going well. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat, and they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Ah, oh, okay, well, nice to talk to you, Count Belladal. It's been, it's been good. Nice meeting you. So long now. Oh, yeah, I love that story in The Last Wish. It's a good one. These are very cool. Yeah, of course I'll hang that up in my house. Should we go and do it now? I mean, that was good. That was a good little quest. Can I still talk to him? Well, thanks. Don't know if you're talking to me or not. I'm assuming you are. Right. No, it will be. I, I did try and talk to him. It's wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. A witch taming peacocks. They, they have names. White wolf training, vocalized centipedes. And Geralt and a panther. Okay, I think I might have read them before, but that was cool. I like that. Um, what do I do now? I guess I want to go and maybe put up the painting before I forget, because I imagine I will probably forget. Um, yeah, I'll go and do that. Do, have I gwented this person before, or are they not gwentable? Because some armorers are, some aren't. Um, I have already gwented him. So long. Or maybe all are. I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like I have been to an armorer and they haven't been able to grant me. Maybe, maybe it's been when I've, like, uh, liberated one of those places or something. Okay. Well, that was good. That was very, very good. We actually have some exclamation marks I have to clear up at some point. Not sure when I'll do those. Like, as in, they're, they're like, hidden secondary quests, and I'm pretty sure I know where most of them are. I don't really think I'll... I could do one today. Maybe I can do that next, actually. I know where one of them is, um, which isn't too hard to find. But I want to go back to the house first and put up this painting. I think I know which one I'm going to swap out, because a lot of paintings I put up just because I didn't really know what else to put up. So, I think maybe the one in the, the bedroom I might take down and put this one up. Might be quite cool. But there's also oh, the Beauclair Palace. Nothing. I think maybe the Beauclair Palace can go down because, you know, we're in Toussaint. It's kind of weird to have a painting of the place you live, maybe. Well, it's, it's not weird, but, you know. Right. I'm going to put this up instead. Where is it? There you go. That's quite cool. Although it does feel weird to have a bunch of paintings of yourself, you know? That does feel a little bit strange. Right, well, I'll put these back in. Um, and then I'll work out what quest I'm going to do next, because we do have some actual quests to get done, but the exclamation mark quests are just as important to get done, really. Um, I feel like I should put really just everything in here that's... 
Um, yeah, I'm going to saw what quest we're going to do next, and I will see you guys there. Um, looking pretty cool. I like the house. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's go and do this quest. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. It should just be around here. I'm not sure, though. Let me set it today. <laughs> it's getting later. Um, right, yeah. I think I know which quest I'm going to do, guys. It's a cool little secondary quest that... Let me try to remember where it is. Where am I right now? I think it's, like, down there somewhere. Um... I think. We'll have a look. We'll see. There's a bunch of merchants here. I don't think I've been here before. Ah, is this what booming means? Cognac selling like fresh buns on the morn. Pleased customers screaming about it. Fathers desire that we work together. Do you see the wisdom of it now? Yes. Papa knew. Papa knew if this would work. Aren't these the guys we helped on that contract thing? Ah, oh, Witcher, greetings. What brings you here? And they tried to have him killed, didn't they? Huh. See, you made up with your brothers. Looks like business is good. All true, all true. I cannot complain. We'd been rivals all our lives. So, at first, it was hard to agree on anything. Yet, gradually, we realized we had no other options. Suddenly, it turned out we work well together. Nice to hear. <laughs> and we've you to thank for it. Had we not met you, nothing would have come of our quarrels but heartache. Thank you, Witcher. Glad I could help. Ah. Wouldn't mind a drink? Some good wine or cognac? Be my guest. Pick and choose as you will. I uh, don't much. That's cool, though. It's nice I'm to have a little show. Farewell. It was by complete chance, genuinely, that I came in here. Time for Hello, cheers, howdy to. In need of anything? Oh, has he just got the same? Mind if... No, he's got slightly different things, but they're very similar. So these are all the brothers, right? And then that guy at the back. Yeah. It's fortunate we resolved our differences. Make peace. Had father's cognac recipe gone to yeah, waste, yeah. I'd not have forgiven any of you. <laughs> Such a shame. Do I get Dalaga of Lucian? Father would be mighty proud. Well, uh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, right, okay, um, cool. Well, that's cool that we did that. I'm happy that we did that. That's quite cool. That was completely by chance. I just thought there was a quest around here. around here. At least the weather's pleasant. Right, well, I'm going to go and do the quest. Arr, so cool in Tissar. That's poor folk. You? Are you the person? Witcher, whoa there. Aha! Okay, right. Yeah, I found the guy. Le le what is his name? Le Le Papi Le Papillon. Le Papillon. Le Papillon. Le Papillon. Le Papillon. I, these names are so hard to say, you know. I need to learn like other pronunciations Witcher, for other words that aren't there. English. Come Although here. English can be hard too. Be yeah, in one minute, I'm just looking at you know, Tussauds. Right, okay. Geralt! So content to see you. Le Papillon Troubadour. Remember? Hey there. I've never found the opportune moment. See, I never had a chance, in fact, to say I'm a devoted fan. Hmm. Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know the bards, every ballad in his cycle about the Witcher. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something from me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotovic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witterhood prevail. I wonder how Dan's going to feel about that, you know? Geralt's like his... his... his muse. <laughs> no, not for well. Right. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean-Louis is never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Was this the guy at the, uh, the Knight's Tawny? Is that who this guy was? I, I, I think it was. You know, he was the guy that, um... Uh, God, what was it he did? He did, he did the... He was... 
You know what I mean? He was he was the guy that was that was there when when they were announcing the Shalemar or something. Was he? Or was it later? Was he later on? Was he the trumpet guy? I can't remember. I, I think he was there though. Maybe. I don't know why. I just recognise the sort of voice and oh, they they might have just reused it. You know now, right? Okay, who's gonna pay me? Who's gonna pay me to find this barber? I will. Such opportunities come knocking rarely. But you must take me with you, for I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally. To be expected. Okay. I mean, it's it's really not that high. 160? Yes, by all means. As you wish. It's so inconsistent. Well, it's pretty consistent recently, but like sometimes you go there and it's like really high up on the annoyance meter. I think it's different, maybe depending on who you get. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request: stay out of the way, mine and my swords. Of course, you shan't even notice me. Jean Louis Studio is just there, right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the court she rides. Today, all remember my fine couplets at the tourney. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down. Okay. Yeah, I think he was, right? Where are you going? Pay me no heed. Pretend I'm not here. Will do. This guy's like dandelion dialed up to about, um, I don't know, 10? <laughs> I don't want to say like 100, because he's not too far off, but, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, blood. Okay, Knives. right, right, let's have a look. So we're breaking down the door, right? Surely it's this. There you go. See, why can we do that with every door? I'd like to explore a bit more of Care More, honestly. Okay, it's hard to pretend you're not here when you're running into me. Let's go inside. Advertising leaflet, ladies and ladies and grand dames, are you ready for the new season? Only here, the latest hairstyles from the north are reasonable prices. Avant-garde, avant streaks and highlights, symmetrical and asymmetrical, asymmetrical bobs, evening styles including the Her Illustrious Highness. Old elven hair straightening treatments, permanent wave, truly it is permanent, trust your scalp to the master Jean-Louis Ludovic. Okay, well let's have a look for everything. Um... Empty pomade jar. <laughs> strong floral fragrance. <coughs> uh, very strong. Hmm. Scissors are completely dull. No way you could use these to cut hair. Le papillon, you lucky scoundrel. This jar is empty too. Well, the first one wasn't empty, no. Or maybe it was, it just had a really strong fragrance. Um... Okay, we'll go upstairs. Hmm. Right with the twist. The precinct's all wrong. Letter from Edgar Edgard Lav Lavalier Lavalier. Lavalier, maybe? Dear Jean Louise, as you instructed, I have taken a post as assistant royal hairdresser to King Tancred Oh uh, god, how do you say is this is the Kavir guy, right? King Tancred Tyson. Is it Thyson? I think Thy Thyson. I think something like that. Um, and I've been active in that position for two months. I dash this note off to you now because I must inform you of a most startling development. After weeks of analysis, consultations um, with specialists and trial runs on model doppelgangers, the chief royal hairdresser, Master Hector, has decided to give Marziola, Marziola the king's current favour, uh, Bob. Of course, Marziola, being a mere king's mistress, cannot indulge in such extravagances as an asymmetric bob or, uh, or, an, or an daringly shaved nape. Therefore, her bob is rather of the classically elegant sort, with a fringe that wonderfully complements the line of her eyes and covers her altogether unfortunate forehead. 
Just as we speculated, the Bob shall soon make a triumphant re-entry re as the absolute rage of the, royal sal uh, of the Royal Salon. And thanks to me, you, my dear friend, are now the first hairdresser of the South to know about it. I thus declare my mission accomplished and a stunning success. I'll gather up my trappings and prepare to return. I hope you are ready for a long and, event and eventful tete-a-tete. Tete-a-tete. What the hell? Tete-a-tete. I don't know. Tete a tete. <laughs> okay. Um, once I arrive, and I hope that, and I hope that will be soon. For this seaside climate, it really does not suit me one bit. And this, and this swell they call wine and Kavir is positively disgusting. Warm embraces, Edgar Lav Lavalier, Lavalier. Okay. There's a book. A formula that I, I'm not going to read. <laughs> I'm not reading every note. It's ridiculous. This jar is empty too. Okay. We need more action. Excitement. A twist. Locks untouched. No attempt at forced entry. Okay. See, he says pretend like I'm not here, but he's constantly talking to me and standing in front of the evidence. Right. Hello. The coiffer's log. A manicure, curling, Cintrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, raftsman's do. Hmm, long out of style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain Lady La Pompadou. Know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean Louis done her hair for a decade. Completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. This mean anything to you? I may understand to eight points, but if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. Think I understand. As do I. Perhaps. Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see razors, pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute. Think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his map? Naturally. Lead the way then. Okay. Follow Le Papi Papillon. 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 I don't know. He's got a weird name. Okay, we just follow him. Let's do it. Shall we get Sean in its eyes or glow? Sent marking times like Curtis Eagle Flow. They ventured beyond walls by vines entwined. Into the unknown, the poor barber to find. Gonna do that the whole way. Bidding them farewell, the gravestones must covered. They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered. <sighs> <laughs> this is great. Oh. oh, it's okay. Okay, so I was worried then. All right. God, it's so dark. Look, La, La Pepillon, or whatever the hell your name is. I'm just going to wait for a, for a day. Just you chill for one day. <laughs> it's, it does this sometimes when it's like really dark. Like clouds just roll over, then it gets unbelievably dark. It's a bit lighter. You know what? This, this will do. Me. Get back. Oh. Ah! Okay. Oh. Down there? I can't get down there. You got to come back up here, weird thing. Mm. I think there's an achievement that if I kill like two monsters without using bombs or or any anything, just just literally fighting, like no potions and all that. Right, I'm gonna have to go and fight this thing because it's just it's not moving. Oh, of course it moves after I've right. Okay. Um, I have to get like two contracts. 
like the, the final monster of each of them without doing any of that, so I might try and do that. Although I'm not sure if I even have two contracts where I can now do that, but it's like a final monster. I can think of one. Ugh. It's had a bit of an accident with his neck. What beast was that? An Arcaspor. Might there be more nearby? Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. Oh, <laughs> a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's blade flash juices spouted and poured. Covering all about in an Arcaspor's gore. No piece of the stylist fell from its bowels. The frisser had been nabbed by aught else most foul. Oh, nice. There! Jean-Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain now. Well, what else is around here? Well, we'll look at the basket first. A basket of flower petals. Same smell as the pomade. Hmm. Grass is trampled. Multiple sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not Cyclopes. Hard pressed to find a rhyme for that. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> it's a little bard just running in front of everything. So? On his trail yet, are you? Well, yeah, we are. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Ground's made of rock. Trail's gone cold. Wandered deeper into the cave. Okay. Let's have a look. My, a talk so dark as to brought one to fear. Fear uninspiring? No rhymes at the ready? Just curious if there's anything in here. There is a skeleton. Come on. Did I get it? God damn it. Hang on. <laughs> This quaff is the left of bread. At the Covieri court, they'll have nothing else. No damsel will manage to resist. Bolo balls! Hands down, I would have won the party. And had Mademoiselle Vivian already worn my bed. Oh no, foul bandits have bound us stylist in chains. Little do they know they'll be punished in pain. Quiet down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's carry on. Uh, okay, let's go get him. Pure poppycock, you beard mangler! The latest rage in some bomb botched covier. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me. Gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, a beaver bottle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor. Mama said Vivian that have my prize. Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is what they start. I've not yet decided if I shouldn't snip off something more. Hair grows back. Doesn't seem chiv chivalrous. It doesn't. Doesn't seem terribly chivalrous. What about honor? Your oath on the peacock. All that. I do vow on the noble bird I shall gut you if you do not skedaddle. Onward! Stand and fight! I challenge thee! And you boys dare not intervene! By golly, by gum, this will be chivalrous! Listen, children, a story you shall hear. 
of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair. I shall slaughter that shit stylist. Okay, we'll have an honorable fight. I won't use any signs, I promise. Oh, that was good. Do it again. Okay. Never fear. I'm noting it all town. See, it's doable when there's not five of them. Oh, that was good. You'll never learn. I'll try and get us by the fire so we have a bit more visibility. Yep, cool. I might try and get a heavy attack in. Okay, I got one heavy attack. I'm not sure if it's worth it, though. Well, I got 700 damage then. 800, so it is a bit better. It's grown rather late. I believe we'll be on our way. Le Papillon, Le Beholder's wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean-Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he... Quiet, both of you. I've got it. They froze in their fear, the knight's henchmen and squires. While his bowel set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated. His neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts plopped out, his breakfast betrayed. Then he hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Bravo. I think you got a bit confused. What about my pay? Uh Yeah, you got a bit confused. I, I didn't I didn't do that. You know, I didn't I don't want any more rumors, you know. We already have people calling us the butcher of Blavikin wherever we go. Think you got confused. Sure you saw all that? Forgive me, Witcher, but poetry's hardly your forte. In fact, you know squat. To taste audiences demand high drama, and I provide it. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually? Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. Look, we we do understand what, what oh god, it's so dark in here. We do understand that, you know, they demand you know, like like a certain level of um excitement in the poems. But you know, we, we don't want any more rumors about us killing knights. <laughs> Not that it was knights at Malavikin, obviously, but I mean, you know, we don't want any of these these bad rumors going around. You know, I guess he could write it that it was a bandit we killed. I have no idea where we are. Like, I... it's We're in a completely different area than uh, where the quest ended. Should we go back and see the, 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 the guy? You know? The guy that we just saved? That might be quite fun. Just to go and see him. What level am I? 47. So if I get to 48, then I can make the, the better sword, right? Or I can at least use the better sword. Oh, I was in the right place. It just looks very different. So that means the fire was over there. Okay, yeah, I was there. Where's the fire gone? That that completely threw me off, not having that fire there. Okay, well. We did it, guys. We defeated... I, I don't know, a, a guy? <laughs> Some knight? He would have been part of the tourney with us if we hadn't, um... You know, um... Well, if he hadn't had, had a bad haircut, I guess. You know, it's understandable. Sort of. I guess, you know, in Tucson with honor and knights and all that sort of stuff, you don't want to turn up with a tawny with a terrible haircut, I suppose. Have I got a bunch of stuff on me? I do. I should probably change some of this out. This sword is actually pretty good. It, it's, it's seven levels higher. 
I am considering using it. It does give me a lot more sign intensity, but I don't know. I just, I think I prefer the bleeding and stuff, honestly, at the moment. But when we get, you know, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're going to be changing swords very soon anyway. Um, right. So that quest is done. What, what next? I have to, I have to work out what we're doing next. Do you do Gwent? Geralt, you did it. You managed to reconcile Coronata and Vermentino. Incredible! Master Liam has asked me to give you the best prices. Thanks. See you later. Nothing to see here. Okay, I'll probably put you back in there because that was some unique dialogue, but um, I made the decision. I was going to do it once I found someone, but I made the decision to basically try and finish off any of the Gwent games I haven't done and then go into another quest. Um, so I'm just going to like all the little areas that I know, um, you know, that I have like unlocked and stuff and that I've been, I don't know, because I've been everywhere. Um, and I'm trying to work out which Gwent games I haven't played yet. And it's kind of hard. I wish there was a, a way to work out, um, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. And I heard the other Shailmar wreaked havoc on the ship they were hauling it in. Ship, crew, and Shailmar all coin went to the wine. bottom. Okay. Taylor's workshop. I don't think I've been here. Is there anyone in here? Aha! Sacre bleu. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. Ah, okay, so I can Gwent this guy. Good. Um, right, 50. In the mood for a round of Gwent? Okay, I'm going to try and just win every game of this pretty quickly, I think. We both ha thank God I chose Nilfgaard, because if I had to play Skelliger against Nilfgaard... Although Skelliger has been pretty good, to be honest. Um, okay, this is a fine hand. I'm going to open with the, uh, the Spy, of course, you know, as is expected. I knew they'd have a decoy. I, I didn't know they would use it so early, but they did. Very interesting strategy so far. Um, I'm just gonna get a ten. I was gonna put down my other spy, but I think I'll I'll leave it for a minute. Um, I mean, if they skip now, that's very very dumb. I don't know why they did that. I just have to get literally another ten. You know what? I'll put down this. Okay, I'm just going to whack down my 15s, I think. Because if they try and spy me, I can just make them waste all their cards. Okay. This is going well. I'm just going to keep putting 10s down, I think. This is kind of funny. I'll just keep putting 10s down. Right, this is good. I'm going to put another 10 down. If they put something else in the back, I think I'll probably skip. Well, uh, that's not too bad. You know what, I'm just gonna get like a quick 20, then I'll skip. Okay, now they're gonna start reviving the spies, surely. Yeah, they will. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is skip, but I have quite a lead. So um, they're gonna have to play a lot of cards to catch up here. God. And I can revive these spies too. I can revive all these spies. They're gonna be giving me all of them. Bloody hell. They're getting kind of lucky with their draws, but also you could argue they were unlucky originally. God, they have revived so many guards, and they've had to give me so many high ones. Oh god, I won anyway. <laughs> Good game, Pierre. Right, good. Ah, welcome back to our northern dandy. Okay, I want to try something on. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. 
I'm more than willing, sir. I mean, I'm not going to buy anything. Oh, he sells the... Oh, that's so cool. Harlequin mask, a bird mask. Oh, these are, this is, that's kind of cool that he sells that. I like that. He sells the original, you know, the classic. <laughs> Do we, we still have that, right? Did I, I wouldn't have even put that in storage, I feel. No, there it is. I should put on the Teshim uh, Mutna mask. That's quite a cool little mask. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. Very cool. Okay. Well, that's one game out the way that I was looking for. I'm just going to take what you got in here, and then I will try and find the next one, guys, and I will see you when I find it. Okay, guys, I'm almost at where the final Gwent card is I need to get. I was actually, like, if you're wondering why I was just looking, I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to cut, but I was looking at loads of innkeepers and stuff. Um, it's just because I'm wondering if there's any actual Gwent games I have missed too, although I feel like I've done all of them whenever I could, and I've been everywhere, so this is probably just the last thing I have to do in regards to Gwent, I feel, other than stuff that might happen later on, you know? Because uh, I don't think I've been here yet. Meat of the freshest sort, hot sausage links, ripe blood pudding. Because I know you can follow the quest just to go and get all the cards, I think, like the main cards. But um, I, like as in it was leading me then, obviously, but I, I just wanted to actually find all the games I'd missed. Fine, show me what you got. Okay, that's not very good. Um, okay. I know you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? You think something? Uh, I've got it. Should we go Northern Realms just for a bit of a change? Oh, it's a decent hand there. Pretty good hand. Okay, we got a spy. That's a decent start. Happy with that. Got another spy. I'm also pretty happy with that. Um, we got two more spies. We drew two spies with a spy. And we just drew another spy. Wow. So they're, they're gearing up here for... I, I believe I know the play. But it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to use this round to get all my spies out. Um, okay. If I draw a 15 now, that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so stupidly lucky. Okay, right. There you go. Uh, and then we win the first round. Through skill and skill alone. Okay. I might just try and win consecutively. It means they don't get their two free cards, alright, which might be spies. So I'm kind of okay with that. Okay. Oh, this is good. I'm making them use all their cards. I'm gonna play all my terrible cards. Okay. It's not terrible, but you know, I, I don't really mind. Okay. See, Skelligut is pretty good. I'll give him that. It is pretty good. But I have so many cards. Uh, what can I revive here? You know, I might just put down both my eights and then they can scorch them or whatever they have and then I can just revive both of them which is kind of funny okay I'll still win I want to see how much I can win by though it's a pure sort of interest here I'm curious because Northern Realms is a really high point scoring one if you can get a good hand. You know, honestly, Northern Realms might be just as good as Nilfgaard. Like, Nilfgaard is very good, but Northern Realms is equally very good. See, so like, 200. That is, that is pretty good. And I still have a spec card. Boom. And I should have completed the quest now, right? I received a Skellig Storm. There you go. And that's apparently every Gwent card I need. Okay, amazing. No, well that's good. We uh, we got the Gwent card, guys. I have put a marker down where I believe the 
the next, well, the, the sort of, the final thing I think I'm going to do for today's part. You know, I feel like I've done quite a bit today. I've, I've done, like, bits here and there, done little quests, got all the Gwent cards. Pretty sure I've played every Gwent game I can, honestly, because I I feel like every innkeeper or armorer that I have been, or sort of come across, I have played. I'm pretty sure, and I have been everywhere. So I'm just going to head to this signboard, and then I'm going to go and do this this other little quest that I, I know I saw I wanted to get out of the way. They're quite fun quests, actually. I like them. Um, and we're getting quite close to finishing most of the Blood and Wine stuff, honestly. <laughs> like, we're getting pretty close. We have these- basically, I'll give you a rundown. After, after I've done this quest, there is another quest, which I'm not gonna say where it is, but I'm sure you guys will know, um, which quest I am talking about. Um, you know, another little hidden quest. It's- it's one of my favorites. Um, and then we have- what else? We have, I guess, we have these- Secondary quests, these contracts, and then just main quests. And that's it. That's all we have left of bottom mine. It's getting pretty close, guys. It's getting pretty, pretty close. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. <laughs> it's getting there. Um, it's, yeah, it really is, though. It, it's, it's incredible. We're really getting through it. It's been fun, though, hasn't it? A lot of fun. I realize I've never actually, unless you've probably seen, I'm sure I've been on Roach at some hey point since I, since I put it on, but this is the uh, trophy we got for doing all the contract things. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of okay with it. Faster. Honestly, I think the pig head one is funnier, but I'm not too bothered, you know? It's not too big of a deal. If I hit 48 in this quest, which I doubt I will, then I'll tell you what, I'll um, I'll get my sword too, but I, I don't think I will, so I'll probably be doing that next time. Um, I believe this is the quest, right? Take it easy. Slower. What's that about? I'm just gonna get rid of this marker. So there's something going on here. I actually came across this in one of the previous parts and I cut it out. Um, I, I went back on a save. I don't mind saying because I didn't want to do it and I thought, oh, I gotta remember to do this at some point. So I um, I'm here now. I was I was riding past and I saw them and I thought, hmm, I guess I'll um. Sorry, I didn't go back and I save. I rode past and I, I could see this, like, scene. Um, but I didn't go close enough to trigger it, so it's Addressed. okay. Bandages. Um, right. And I think even if you trigger it, it's fine. Right, Gaston. The dressings. Bandages. Where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last, then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Hmm, helping a stranger. Admirable. All sounds fishy. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna be too, you know. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully, when I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind. I near decided to crack the whip, but to abandon a man in need, it's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who... who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh! Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? Not my concern, farewell. <laughs> Plan to figure that out. I am a bit, you know, I'm wondering about this guy, but we'll see. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. 
I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, that need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Wait! I will come with you! Gotta be kidding. Fine, let's go. Hmm. Um, do I want to bring this guy? Yeah, I, I really don't think this guy should come. I don't, I don't think it's safe. <laughs> like, that's what I feel. Gotta be kidding. This isn't a garden romp. Whatever killed him is damn dangerous and... and... And it might still prowl the area, so if it's all the same, I'd prefer to accompany you. Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Okay, well, we'll follow the tracks in a moment. I see a wagon here with the potential... Okay, we can't loot it. Let's have a look. Strange armor. Wounds unusual, too. What's going on here? Trail leads to the house on the hill. Which stands silent as a grave. God, it went from, like, no blood to just a lot. I'm assuming that's where he stopped and then he dragged him. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Well, was, yeah, would you break your legs from that height? I guess if they were injured. Must have really fell. Right. Damn it. Good gods! A lot of dead people. Burned alive. Really high temperature at work here. Leviota, thou art my defender and protector. Thou bringest good news. Use that ladder, I'm guessing. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods! Hearing noise. Okay, well, I don't see anything over here. The noble houses of Toussaint. Song Royal. Literally royal blood. Oh, very interesting. There's some information here. I'm actually going to read this. Uh, Song Royal, alternatively, Song Real. Or Song Real. Uh, literally royal blood. The legendary line which some trace back to the first lords of the lands now lying in Toussaint and northwestern Hackland. The first mention of Wilhelm the Bold. This line's founder comes from the Elven from Elven manuscripts found during reconstruction of the Beauclerc Palace in 1095. Since this source, like all things Elven, is unreliable and should not be taken into consideration by historians, the existence of House Saint Real must be considered a mere fable. Um, Salvares, or Salvares. D is of the Regulus Platinum Crest. This line takes its name from the Sel Selva the Lame, uh, takes its name from Salva the Lame, who was made a court account in the year 1189 by Duchess Caraberta for his service to the Ducal Throne. The D Salvares, uh, Vares line, line's crest depicts a Regulus, Regulus Platinum, one of the so-called silver basilisks, whose existence is highly suspect, its classification as a species considered erroneous, erroneous by most zoologists. Oh, that, that will come in later, guys. That will come in later, this particular line of nobles. And Tole, Torricella, Torricella, I think, of the Two Towers Crest, an ancient line whose founders most likely first settled the lands of present-day Toussaint around the year 984. They waged fierce... Uh, they waged fierce war against the elves until the sixth decade of the 11th century when all of what is now Toussaint fell under human control. Hmm. Servant. Stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. 
Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Silver tableware. Elven engravings. And Shea statues. You can tell from the... Do they have pointed ears? It's from their whole, like, face shape. I'm assuming they probably have pointed ears somewhere. It's hard to see there. This one probably will, right? An Enshe Sorceress. So this is when the Enshe were at their, like, peak. This is what they would have sort of dressed in, and they're very similar to the NL, although obviously smaller. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. I, I would love to have a game set when during the war between, uh, well, the various wars between... It was, uh, you know, let's just say the, 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 just the period of the elves getting sort of taken out of power. Just, um, to be able to play, and that's the Civil War, we already read this. Um, and this is another thing about the elves. Um, I would love to have a, that would be so interesting. I don't, I, I mean, I'd even like to have a game just set in the world of the NL. Anything to do with the elves is always fun. But I feel like you don't want to have too much of it. You want to you want to be able to sort of dip in and out. Like, The Witcher does it very well, because you go in and out of different areas, right? You want to... I'd love something to do with the Elven War, and the way you would, I think, enhance it is by going to the different areas. So, obviously, returning to Toussaint could be an option, Northern Realms, etc. It could all be quite fun. And then maybe even to, like, go from that to maybe playing in the modern day um, as a Scoia'tael or something. I don't know. It could be fun. Right. And just going around town and stuff as, as like a as like an elf, maybe like an undercover uh, Scoia'tael or something. I don't know. Or you trying to you trying to live in the world that's been taken over by humans. I don't know. There's loads of options for elf stuff. It could be fun. It, it doesn't have to just all be about being an elf too. Right. Throats massacred, one mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial, and Shea handiwork clearly. Oh, I don't know, just looking at these statues, I'd love to have seen them at their peak. Although maybe that's really good that we didn't, it's like part of the mystery. The, N the NL is basically what their peak sort of was, although theirs could be arguably greater when they were at their top. Because they had so much of the world, although we didn't see all of the what of the NL. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices. Of what? Please, do not say humans. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to keep talking about it, it's just it's really interesting to me, because the NL would have moved world, right? But the Enshe stayed in their world, so the NL had to start from the beginning almost, they would have used magic of course, but the Enshe would have had their world, like, uh, at a decent point before the NL left, so, you know, they would have been probably further along. Although, I'm not sure if they would have caught up by now, it's just they look amazing, don't they? Oh. Remember, the king whispered a curse, and he was thrown out of the... The uh, palace. Burn marks. Something catch fire. Explode. Strong stench. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victims human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. It's very few. If basically none. That's elven clothing. You very rarely see elven clothing. It's interesting. It does look sort of elven, doesn't it? Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Doublet scorched, wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Ah, uh, there's something over there. There was a scent of burning we were following. I was just kind of walking up the stairs. I was having fun. Can I go through this way? No. Okay. All right. Let's go around. Might make a save. I like this quest. It's very cool. Perhaps there's no one inside after. 
I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. See? See her remain there? Who are you? Who are they? Yeah. Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred to a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. It then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Who are that? Who are you, even? Who are you exactly? D Durant Fosher Plamonton de Saffaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tutor. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this, why it's a first? Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job, summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. Uh, can I count on your help? Damn it, rather not expose you to danger. Hmm. I mean, I guess if we can avoid it, we don't want to put these guys in danger, right? Damn it. Can't risk. Can't expose you to danger. Master, if what you say is truth, then I was the cause of this massacre. Unintentionally, yet nonetheless, I have a duty to assist you. A moral one. Gods have us in their care. I shall help as well. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. I will stand, or rather... Sit in for King Ludovic upon the elfin throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the elfin king, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Okay. So this is how it happened, huh? Because the elves, they, they got rid of most of the their architecture and sort of their, their palaces when they were defeated, basically. They just destroyed them. It was like a scorched earth tactic. Didn't want the humans to have it. So it was like a destroyed throne room, I think, right? But he still sat on the throne. The Vethaf laid at Lutovic's feet a loaf of binnen and elfin bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands.
if Etha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. It's very sad what happened to the elves. I know they did horrible things to, like, the Vran, etc. Or they, they definitely caused what happened there. But then, you know, I don't know. Everyone does bad things, right? It does give you a, a reason, I'd say, the massacre and the sort of pogroms of the elves as to why you might not um, necessarily be on the, the the side of the people of Toussaint when certain things happen down the line, I think. That's definitely a, a reason. Not, like, a particularly strong reason. Oh! Long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. What was left of them? Oh. I'm actually over carry weight. Hang on. Just before I draw them, can I can I just just put that like just put that there. <laughs> I'll just sit there for a minute. Hang on. Okay, draw the Elven Sword and Shield. God, I haven't heard this music in ages. Like, like, as in, in the in the game. When was the last time? When, when maybe when with Kira or something? Maybe it probably must have been after that. Draw the Elven. Oh, is it a quest item? And where's the shield? Will it automatically draw the shield? Oh, I just did randomly unequipped. Uh. And is it RB? Elven King, erect in his pride drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutofik then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Ah. Oh. Look at them. Look at the look at the Enche. Oh, that's so cool. I almost don't want to God, they they do a lot of damage. I have to deal with the sorceresses. Oh, that's so cool. This is them at their prime, pretty much. Oh, I'm sure the arm is different, because they are living statues, right? As opposed to actual... Ugh, oh, hang on. God, they do a lot of damage. Hang on. You know what I want to do here? I want to get that potion ready that lets me quickly clear stuff because I don't want to unintentionally have like oh oh god oh god oh god hang on god hang on you know what heal me up Clear. Right. Got up. Oh. Right. Now I should be able to clear this and be probably fine. Because those two are the issue, really. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. Got him. The sculptures, they came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage, columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshit. Humans are no better. Time for me to go. I'm humans are no better, really. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this for your reward. Farewell. And there we go. Got our reward. Ugh. Okay. Um, is there a way I could just quickly get rid of this? Because what I'd like to do actually is this. This is actually quite a nice place just to um to end. I think, you know, it's it it's very interesting. So the, the these are golems, right? Just assumedly, they're not actually like actual Enshe that he turned into statues, you know, temporarily type thing till they could then come alive and kill. I'm assuming they're sort of. Or autonomous golems or automatic I don't know what the word would be. You would do best to leave. Resume your I guess path, it wouldn't be master. autonomous. Yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming they're not. They just they they sort of come alive and they they just kill, right? God, that was intense. Right. Well that was a pretty fun quest. Um yeah, I enjoyed it. That was cool. Um I was actually gonna stop there today. I was thinking about stopping, but I think I actually might have a little bit more time to do a couple other things. So I um I, I've got this quest that I wanted to do and I was planning to do maybe in the next part or the one after, but I, I think I'll do it now, you know. I think it's worth doing now, so I'll go and do that now. Um obviously I gotta get back there. I gotta sort out my inventory first. I I think I have this equipped. Or I, I think I, I put it on equip. I did oh no I did. I just had it in the wrong slot. Okay, right. We got the we got the fiend decoction on. Right, cool. No, right. Amazing. So I was also just thinking then um, about about the uh, what I I was thinking about what I said in regards to the the end share and the NL and how the end share probably more advanced, you know, at least before they fell than the NL. But now I think about it, I remember that the the time or time in the world of the NL moves differently, right? Like when Siri goes there to spoilers, brief spoilers for the books. Um, when Siri goes there in the books, she uh, she gets told that um, that you know time has moved differently, and now everyone she knows is dead and all the rest, and she can never get back there. But then because she's the Lady of Space and Time, she can get back, etc. So um, you know maybe they are actually really advanced comparatively. But I, I don't know. I feel like they're probably of like a similar standing, if not uh, I don't know, slightly lower, slightly higher. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, right, no, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go do this quest. I think I'm gonna do- I know I said I was gonna finish on the- Oh, hang on, do I wanna leave? I realize I think you can only come in here- 
yeah, you can only come in here this this one time. Right, okay, well, I've got this quest I want to do. I know there are two markers near it, and I was planning to sort of get those two markers next time and then do the quest, but maybe what I'll do instead next time is just start with the main quest and uh, save this. Well, no, and do this quest now as well as those two little markers, because um, they're on the way. You know, I feel like, I, I, I as I said, I'm going to do markers if they're literally on the way, um, because it's just, um, it's like wasting time if I don't. still hear the breathing and the, okay what, what, sorry I'm, I'm being weird right i'm going to um i'm going to go and sell some of this stuff so i have better uh, carry weight and then i will i will go to i guess you'll probably see me at the next marker that probably be the easiest way to cut back in okay guys i know i said i was going to go to the uh the next marker first but i just made some quick changes around the house i decided to move the Geralt portrait here as much as i like it at the head of the house so everyone knows i think it's almost funnier to have it um <laughs> right by the bed <laughs> so you know it's like you can, it's like Geralt shows people around his house. He's like, so here's my room, and they, they just see that painting with all Geralt's like trophies. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's kind of funny. Okay. Um. Or, or alternatively, I could put it above. You know, as we said, this was like Yen's writing desk. So she, you know, she she always thinks of us when she's um starting to look and procrastinate. Okay. Um. I changed it because I realized I could probably put the Elven shield up with the other shield, which I thought looked kind of cool. Um, so I did that. Um, I also decided to change some swords around. I took off the Witcher sword, the one I got from Gaia Town, because it had a weird glitch where, like, the uh, the scabbard was also appearing, and it was in the air. So I changed that to the Geralt of Rivia sword that we got for winning the tourney, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I changed these swords around. So I, I, of course, have Iris, but then I also have just the normal Ophiri, what is it called, like, the K Kijil or something? K Kil Kilage. Um, because we use that throughout all of Hearts of Stone, so we got the Hearts of Stone armor, that stuff, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then we have the Emmentala there, so I moved the Emmentala over here with the sword we won from the Gwent tournament. Then we have our two Skelliger swords and the Skelliger, well, it's not really a Skelliger painting, it's like a dox, but, um, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of, kind of fun to put those swords up. And then obviously default armor, but we've already seen all this, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the new things, which I've changed a little bit. I think it looks kind of cool. I like it. That's like an ancient elven shield, uh, like, style, which I think is very, very cool. Um, I was gonna put the elven sword up, but I think I just have better swords already that have a little bit more meaning, maybe. Um, I'm considering changing this armor for the viper one. That's still something I'm thinking about, but we'll see. But for now, let's, uh, I'm gonna go to that marker, then I'm gonna do and go and do a, uh, quest. And this quest is actually a really, really good one, so if you've hung on for the whole part, you're in for a treat for this next one. Okay, I've made it to the marker. For some reason... Music is playing. I don't know why, <laughs> but we're here. It's another Winter contract. Master Witcher, uh, come here, please. Truthfully, yeah, in a minute. A Witcher stands to there is actually the no beast. loot. Okay, well, this is a first. Oh, the game's so... decided that I've had enough. <laughs> right, we're going to see the Winter. There's no, there's literally no loot. Okay. Uh, hello. Wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you, before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. <sighs> mm hmm. And if you wanted a witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. <sighs> Forgive me. The pain's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. <sighs> Would you look inside? Uh, my fee, let's talk. Guess I can have a look. Not for free, though. Okay, it's, it's not too bad. I'm gonna try and do, like, another high fee. This seems to be working recently. Why, for that much, I could hire an entire team of knights errant. I, I really don't think you could. It just depends how cheap they are. 100 and, 170? A fair offer. Honestly, I'm, I'm not too fast. Yeah, we'll do it. See what I can do. Wait here, and you need to clean that wound. Trust me. Shake so bad, I cannot hold my tools. Uh-huh. Right, Duntine Hillside, uh, another Vinter contract. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Um... Oh, by the way, I know... <laughs> 
you might be thinking, hey, you said there'd only be one more. That'd be the end of the markings when I said last time. But um, I wasn't even going to record this part of the part. I was going to stop at the uh, the elven thing. So this is kind of not technically the same, you know? Like, my plan was to do this quest and get these markers done, and I am sticking to the plan. I like doing markers. I don't know what people actually think about it, really. I always wonder. I never really ask. I just assume that people get probably sick of it. Um, but I, I genuinely think they're actually, like, alright. Oh, I don't have any torches on? Where are my torches? Okay. I actually might put back on that potion... Where is it? The white honey. Just so I can, um... Restore toxicity if necessary. Okay, well, have we not killed them? There is more. Hang on, there's a bit of loot in here actually. Oh yeah, I I got the torch and everything. I'm not even using it. Okay, skeleton. What happened? Blood smear diary, black magic doll, and some aspen something. Um. Holy Lebioda must have given Holy Lebioda must have given me a kindly wink today. What? Holy Le Holy Holy Lebioda must have given me a kindly wink today, or perhaps it was mere chance and circumstance. And the important thing is, I found a cave that will make a perfect wine cellar. Production's been going wonderfully the last few seasons, and the lack of store and lack of storage space has become a pressing issue. Um, I could have hired men to dig a cellar, but I'd hate to slow work on the barreling on barreling the grapes. And at any rate, no dugout cellar can match a limestone cavern. The one I found is perfect, spacious, not at all, not at all overly damp. And I came across it thoroughly by accident. While strolling among the rocks, my foot slipped into a crevice, and when I tugged it free, when I tugged it free, a few stones fell down into it. I listened for a long while before I heard them hit the bottom. I then walked around the entire slope until I finally found the entrance. Tomorrow, we will begin turning it into a storehouse and transferring the barrels. Later entry consisting of hurriedly scrolled entries, monsters in cave, huge centipedes, men barely escaped, we'll try to go again, uh, recover what we can, must block off all entrances, hope no one else ever stumble, stumbles into that accursed cave. I guess he re-entered and it didn't work out. Um... Must have been a fairly honourable person to go in himself, though, considering he had people working for him. all them dealt with. Um, is there anything else of use in here? It's a very big area to have seemingly one barrel. So they were like packing their stuff into here, right? Like they were bringing all their wine. Uh, setting up a little wine cellar. Oh well, he's got some, got some stuff to start with at the very least. Do you ever feel like when there's a monster infestation in somewhere, and it's clearly been there a while, there should sort of always be a monster nest? I get why there isn't, because it might just give you too much loot and stuff, but it, it's sort of weird that they make their home here and then they just sit here for, like, ages. Like, that guy was a skeleton. Like, he'd been dead a while. Oh, there's like a secret little passage. Okay. Whoa, this is like a proper wine cellar. Like a pro- this is just like the one at Corvo Bianco. Well, it's very similar. Oh. Okay, I fell off. Um. God damn it, I came all the way back up here and jumped across to get this. Okay, right, let's go talk to this Vinta. What's the situation? They're all gone. So, will you see what's amiss in my storehouse? Done that already. 
Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, uh, And how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back in two days' time. You will see the fine storehouse I've made. I'm off. See you later. Two days, huh? Well, we'll quickly wait two days. I'm just curious what this will look like. It's been two days. Is this now a storehouse? Have you sorted everything out in here? Hold on. Ah, Witcher! Welcome back! This is, you haven't really done much. Maybe we could do some trading. Oh, he sells some alchemical items. Ugh. I'm off. Okay. Well, he said, see what I'm going to make. Oh, which he, is, he's done it. nothing. Okay. Well, that was amazing. Right. I'm going to go and um, get the... Uh, I think there's just one other marker I want to do, because I sort of want to end on that. Yeah, I'll do this. Then I'm doing the actual quest. Amazing. No, I was explaining then, but uh, the reason I'm actually doing two more markers is literally... I mean, it's, it's probably the third time I've explained it, but basically I was going to stop uh, the part. At least that was my plan. I was going to go and do that quest, the uh, extreme cosplay one, and that would be the end of the part. But um, what ended up happening was that... Whoa there, That was Roach. a peacock, right? Uh, what ended up happening is Something's that not I... Uh, right. Not so fast, Roach. <gasps> is it this one? It is this one. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. Hang on. Let me go around. Let me go around. Let me go around. This one is, um... This is, a. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um... Hello? Oh, you know what? <laughs> uh... Just so I remember. Okay. Hello? Leave me alone! Oh. Well, you don't seem too bad. There's a dead guy? Huh. <laughs> oh, gee! Oh, God! I thought I had to loot him first. I, I honestly, uh... Did I get her? Yes, I did. Okay. I want to try out the new art. Oh, come on! I did! Whew. There's a little... Oh god, it's like unbelievably bright. Jesus! What has happened? Oh! <laughs> Hang on. Okay, brightness appears to be better. That was... That was a strange thing that just happened then. Okay. Right, now we can have a look. Letter from a lover. My darling girl, I cannot wait until we meet again. My nights are restless, my head full of thoughts of you and only you. If someone had told me, but a few months ago, prior such... A few months prior, such a virile and burning passion would bind me to another woman, I would have laughed in their face. But now, now my only desire is to be close to you. Christoph is beginning to suspect something, yet I have hope my reassurances will quell his worries. I would not like to hurt him, if possible. He is a good man, warm-hearted and honest, but the fire which once burned between us is extinguished. I know you understand this, I'm delighted and, 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 and I'm delighted I can be honest with you. Till we meet again, uh, till we can meet again, it cannot be too soon. Please, ex-examina? Ex Eximina? Eximina? 
Eximina. Something like that. Eximena. Um, take care. Yours lovingly, devotedly, undyingly, Seraph Seraphine. Oh. That was... That's nice. So, there was, like... She was cheating on her husband with the Bruxer? Okay. And this is Kristoff. Okay. So Kristoff Duggery's diary. My beloved, my beloved Seth Seraphine has a lover. I'm not going to rent my garments, curse the goods, or swear vengeance. My Seraphine brims with so much life energy, it was inevitable some would spill over into other canals. Oh, that's a funny... Uh, okay, funny little, like, uh, analogy, analogy, sort of, yeah. Um, it is now up to me to cut off those spillaways, I guess analogy is where you, I guess, no, it sort of is, um, spill, uh, it is. Um, spillways vanquish my rival and hope the walls I erect will prove sufficient to satisfy her vitality and give us a life of mutual exuberance. I have already forgiven her. Now I need but meet her bow and remove him from my life. Yesterday I followed Seraphine. They hold their tists, they, their tists, I think, yep, yeah, um, at the olive grove. How romantic. When they met, birds flew over the grove, a whole flock twittering and chirping, as if celebrating the lover's joy, just as, just as if mocking me cruelly. How symbolic. I can see this romance drain, my darling wife. Since she began seeing this, her lover, she has become anemic, eternally pale, eternally pale. She wanders the house at night aimlessly, blindly. She used to be so lively, so radiant, yet now she is listless, uh, listless, apathetic, resigned. I must gather my courage and end their relationship as soon as possible. I, Christoph Duggery, despise violence. I shall resolve the matter of my wife's, wife's lover, lover pragmatically. I prepared a, a full sack of Nilfgaardian florins, one so heavy I can barely lift it. I shall wait for my Seraphine to return from the grove to our residence, and then I shall catch him and make him an offer he can't ref he cannot refuse. Saint Labiode, give me strength. And then he was killed. Oh. It's kind of sad. Okay, right. Now I can finally do it. The final quest of today's part. Oh, I want to prepare for this. Done. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go and uh let's go and see this then. So it should be just over here. See, I just want to get those two done on the way. Oh, look how bright. It's quite nice, actually. It's not terribly bright. It's just quite bright and nice out here. Oh. An old elven statue. You insist on me as your victim. Why choose me to torment? Be gone, foul spirit. You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. No, I'm a witcher. Ah, oh, I won't do that one. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. No, some personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith haunts me. Grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this. But no, not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. What's the demon look like? This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse, 
its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed, its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing, still my breath and heart. The brew, what's it made of? What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, jumper tub, dancing dewlap? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Greytop produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Uh, let's talk about my pay. Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Orans or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed? Uh, um... I feel kind of bad taking someone's potatoes. I'm going to say I won't take it. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it. If that's the case, no pay required. Need those potatoes more than I do. Yeah, we, we could sell them, I guess, but, you know, she, she can keep them. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Um, Equine Phantoms. Let's make a save. have a look well I see some stuff do you think the best place to look would be in the house what first do you want of me, dead moths attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle hmm seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings anything around the edges just curious while I'm here because there is some sort of cave. Uh, we'll go in the house. Yeah, I know I refuse the potatoes and I'm stealing all their other stuff, but, you know, it's different. Shut up. Um, Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. The flagellants, flage, flagellant, flagellants. It's not flagellant. Is it the flagellants? Uh, flagellant, whatever. The flagellant, flagellants manifesto. Fellow sons and daughters of Lebioda, the end is nigh. Mend your ways and put your faith in the good, in the good tome. For our prophet has written, to shun the pleasures of the flesh and shirk from comfort is at times recommended and to value one's neighbor's fortune above one's comfort is commendable that is why we the eighth day flagellants um i don't know the eighth day flagellants scourge uh, ourselves and torment our flesh to ensure all folk of the world enjoy long and prosperous lives whatever evil sickness or misconduct lurks in this world's dark corners survivors survives not because we have been negligent in striking our backs with the whip um okay common gray top strong hallucinogen thought extinct don't often get to see that we should take some of the seeds oh there's a cat hello something here I can look at apparently shutters closed tight need to check the other side see if the trail continues so these are the drops of blood right uh 
Aha, it does. Hmm, I'll follow that in a minute. I just want to check what's in this cave. Is this where she keeps her potatoes? I know I refuse the potatoes, but I will take, of course, whatever loot is not nailed down. So if they happen to be there, I will take them. Oh, I see some, I see some red potatoes in here. Ah, oh, perfect. All of these shall be mine. Is this a mean thing to do? I don't know. But they're my potatoes now. Don't tell her. We'll tell her it wasn't us. We refuse the potatoes. She, that's what she will believe. <laughs> okay, let's go back on this blood trail. Um... Trail of blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating thing drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, guys, I have slightly adjusted something, which we will see, but I'm going to talk to this hermit now and see what they think. Witcher. Life of a flagellant. Why'd you choose this? Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs, to appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. Hmm, okay. Some kind of wraith's tormenting you. Most likely some kind of wraith's tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present, always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. Um, okay. Uh, mushrooms can produce bad side effects. Yeah, I imagine so. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Well, fills me with confidence. Uh, yeah, it could actually work. Let's let's just do it. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Um. Yeah. As I said, ready the brew. My turn to drink it. All right. High time we tried this. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it.
don't see no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kinda hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Um... Oh, well, uh, um, why do you sound so manly? Your voice... It's, uh... Interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. Oh, I love this quest. Roach is, uh, Roach is the best. Right, I can understand you. It seems the mushroom did this. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, why'd you all show up when I whistle? <laughs> yeah, every time. You know, sometimes you do show up and then you don't come to me and you run away or you get stuck on a fence or something, but yeah, you're always there. Hey, know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kind of strange how you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. <laughs> oh, I love the light. That's a slight fourth wall break, but it's 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 fine. <laughs> All right, need to track down this wraith. And let's go. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Oh, no, no, no. Roach is investigating. We we have to let Roach do her thing. What is it you want to look at, Roach? What is it, Roach? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses, either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Uh, okay. You, you lead the way, Roach. An astral horse. Geralt, look! This here's definitely a clue! Ah, uh, what is it? Ah, uh, we, we saw this before, Roach, I think. Maybe. Oh, this, is, this is so strange. A little pig head. <laughs> Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of... death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh... Seriously? When was this? Was this... I was, oh yeah, I guess we did technically ride into Vizima on Roach. In three. Alright. Now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. Yeah, but we didn't have Roach in The Witcher 1, so it couldn't have been then. Um, or maybe we did, just stabled. Um, probably dealing with some kind of wraith, that's all we know. We know pit pitifully little. Pitifully little. Pitifully little. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that is all we know. All we know is there's some wraith, that, that's it. That's all we've learned. It's a, it's a horse, though. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. 
This one's assumed the form of a horse. An umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. It's getting away! Come on, Witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Oh, There's the okay. Umbra. Let's go, Geralt! After it! I'm going, Roach. I'm trying. Maybe, maybe don't stop there. No. Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Uh, uh, yeah, fair enough there, Roach. Fair enough. Um, this is very strange, but it, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. What? You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, torque where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Y you can say that again, Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, why the long face? Ah! Uh, good one, Roach. There's, there's, a, there's a giant bear there. <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Roach. You're doing all the heavy lift. Oh, there's a guy. Don't look at me talking to my horse. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what's happening, like, Geralt's- As long as we're being <laughs> candid, I gotta ask. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First I've heard. Don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. Yes. Giddy up. Giddy up, come on, Roach. I think we're here. <gasps> Melted into thin air! Uh, sort of. Whoa. Oh, fuck! Whoa. Geralt, Whoa. watch out! Okay, I'm gonna try and not use any signs or potions. Good God! What's with the Oracle of Gaming Cat? Help! This is probably the worst one to try this out on. Oh, God, this is, this is impossible with the, uh, how fast they are. Oh. God damn it, they've attacked so quickly. Oh. God. Yeah, this isn't happening, is it? If I if I don't use potions. Gotta get my opportunities in lightly. The more I don't get hit, the more damage my sword does, which means the more my hits do, which means the less time I have to avoid getting hit. Duh. Right, one's gone. Uh, they're back. Ah. Maybe I can use food. Oh my god, they're, they're so like... Too 
2,000 damage though if I can get a hit. Three thousand. That was a double hit. Oh, this is so hard. It's not like I'm just pressing B, by the way. I have to constantly readjust the camera and then quickly press it again. Because if I don't, they hit me, and if I get hit once, I die. Somehow my charges have gone down. God, look at my health. Okay, within the achievement, it doesn't say I have to use food or not. I'm not sure if that counts, but uh, maybe? So I'm, I'm gonna use food to slowly restore my health. I, I could probably use my potion now, because I've defeated them without doing it, but just on the safe side, so I'll skip to when I've <laughs> fully restored my health. Okay, I'm full health. Just gonna loot everything first. Roach, you doing okay over there? Awesome. Roach, please do not comment on my looting. I, I do not need- I do not need that, you know. Imagine if Roach is like, oh, why do you always spend 20 minutes looting as well? Don't judge my hoarding, Roach. Look, I'm going- I'm going insane now. I love this quest too much. Oh, there's like a cool looking mausoleum up here. Okay, well I- I think that's everything. We won't loot that just yet. Can I examine it from the back? Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Geralt! It's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! 
refuses to forgive me. I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing. Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! A monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. Okay, you and the Hermit, what's the link? Yeah, me and Roach have got to work this out together. You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Oh. What's with the horse? Why appear to her as that? Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, a power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Begging for forgiveness, what did you do? Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I, I flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. A proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Finestri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me loose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Not the one you should ask for forgiveness. You don't deserve mercy. It's not up to us, really. It's really not up to us. Well, I suppose Roach. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Noble Mayor, forgive me my sin.
You see, I, I have a very strong sort of opinion about this sort of thing, as a lot of people do, and I, I, I do not think it... I wouldn't say you necessarily don't deserve forgiveness, because if you're genuinely remorseful, I suppose, and you feel like it's a terrible thing and you regret it and everything, but I feel like this guy... He doesn't really care. He just wants to, like, not be imprisoned. He doesn't actually care at all. But, you know... I guess you've got to take the high ground, right? Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost free from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. Ah, to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure? Mostly Roach's doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Right to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. Though, effects of the bruise waning, I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... <laughs> Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. Well, Roach, you did well. Pit Pinastri? Witcher. Can I not tell her? Okay. Take care now. That was a good quest, Roach. Oh, drinking! Oh, that's so... well, sort of. Um, that's so cool. Okay, I didn't actually get the, uh... The... the thing. The, the, the sword from the grave. Because I, um... Oh, after, after the storm is up. Sorry, because I, I, I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to lose it. So I'm gonna go and get that now, then I'll be right back here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, whoa. This place is so cool. Right, guys. I'm gonna end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Mine part there. I uh, retrieved the sword. I got it. It's all good. And, you know, I feel like that's a really good quest to end on. It's a, it's a nice quest, and it's... I don't know. It's just a nice one to do, I think. It was uh, it's quite fun to end on that one. That's one of my favorite quests in The Witcher 3, just in regards to, like, having a bit of fun. You know what I mean? It's a fun, like, unique, quite sort of... You know, it's, it's a good quest in that way. It's, it's a good little quest. 
Um, although there are like other quests I love in the game and all the rest. But uh, you know, that, that's just a fun little quest. I do enjoy doing that one. So thank you all for watching today. I really hope you've all enjoyed. Be sure to like to support the series so you continue all the rest. Be sure to comment um, just what you think, all that sort of stuff. I do appreciate it. imagine most of you are subscribed, so I do appreciate that. And yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for continuing to watch this series. And I will, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next, the next part. I, uh, I've really had a good time today, guys, and just thank you all so much. Have an awesome rest of the week.